What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table, Rob and Melanie are going to be playing through Aeon's End, hopefully Chapter 5, I assume is what's next after Chapter 4. If you haven't already been watching, spoiler warning, uh, I wouldn't start here unless you're trying to watch us play Chapter 5, I guess. Uh, but there's a playlist at Rob's Gaming Table on YouTube where you can watch your episodes 1 through now and beyond where we're going to be playing uh, through the whole campaign of this. Thank you to our Patreon backers. Shout out to you guys. Thanks for supporting the channel. Uh, without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. We appreciate the support from everyone who's been helping the channel out. We appreciate all you guys following along. You're all amazing. Um, but yes, we're doing this live. The whole playthrough through Aeon's End Legacy. Nothing we've done before. Played through a lot of campaign games on the channel, but usually they're pre-recorded. And yeah, we do the first one live maybe, but then the rest we record. But this we're trying to live all the way through. So you're going to see us bomb out and fail. And our moments of banging our heads against the wall trying to solve it. And decide between card A or card B. The fun of live streaming. Uh, you see it all. We can't edit it out, so it's all good. And you get to help us if you're watching. <laughs> and you get to participate. Mm -hmm. Most importantly, help make us make the right decisions. <laughs> no, that's not what you guys do. You try to steer us wrong every time. No, I'm just joking. Uh, hey, hey Mutton Chop's here. Hello. So we can start. We're officially allowed to start. Yeah. He's here. We just need Sajat to show up in about an hour and say he's late. <laughs> uh, and that'll be good. <laughs> Faulty Joe's here. Hello. How's it going? Hey, Joe. Um, and yeah. Say hello if you're watching as yeah, well. Hey, yeah, hey. I see you guys were waiting there. Uh, right before we started, <laughs> there was a few of you guys waiting in the in the pre-waiting like waiting countdown thingy. Uh, I just don't know how that like works completely like, when we go live, if it like refreshes for you guys or not. But uh, that's why we're killing some time here, waiting for everyone to get in and get their notifications and that kind of stuff. Getson, welcome back. Hello. How's it going? Uh, but yeah, we're going to be playing some Aeon's End Legacy. If you don't know, it's by Indie Boards and Cards. Thank you to Indie Boards and Cards for sending over this press, review, copy, uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, for liking the content we're doing, I guess, for Aeon Zen already, sending us this for us to play through. That's super awesome of them uh, to help us out. And Charles is here. I made it here from the beginning, finally. Yes. <laughs> Good evening. I, yeah, I don't know if Tuesday night works better for you guys, but we just decided let's switch it to Tuesdays. So it gives us uh, Wednesday night to kind of... Uh, Prep prep practice whatever it's called for thursday's live streams we usually do we have patreon backers can decide on the game we play on thursday evenings uh and sometimes it's the games that we haven't played in a long time or maybe not even played at all uh that we have in our collection we do a poll and if you want to influence that you can go on to patreon.com forward slash rob's gaming table and vote on that each week uh, but we like to leave i guess wednesday night's probably a better night uh to basically practice that game and make sure we're down with the rules as best we can before Thursday night stream. So we're going to be doing this Tuesdays going forward. Yeah, Tuesday's good. Uh, Tuesday's great for me. Perfect. Perfect. It's we'll all, do it just for you, Ryan. Yeah, it's for Ryan. This is all, <laughs> I really moved it to Tuesday just for Ryan. <laughs> just kidding. Clyde but is yeah, here. So good evening. Glad Ryan can be here. That's awesome. Hey, I'll have my um, hands on it Friday. Ah, send it out. For, She's before. Oh, okay. So Ryan's being super awesome. I won't, I won't explain what's exactly happening. I'll totally, if it does happen, Ryan, <laughs> I'm forever in your debt, my friend. But uh, double check, though, on the shipping. Just make sure it's, yeah, not crazy. And if it is, like, I'll help offset it or mm -hmm. pay for it or whatever. Just let me know. Just let me know. But uh, he's going to help us get the channel we've been trying to get hold of, and it's like... It's like a unicorn or a white whale. I don't know. We might have to do something special, like make it so Ryan can pick a game of one of our weeks. Like specifically, this game is chosen by Ryan. Like for yeah, pretty much something. do whatever Ryan like... says at this point. So yeah, <laughs> he's got me. Uh, right. Buell's here. Hey, how's it going, Buell? Uh, this is going to be interesting. I'm watching all my TVs and my Xbox and chatting on my computer. Nice. So you're watching I us on big screen. I always forget. <laughs> Buell, uh, I forgot to shout this out. I used to do it on my YouTube channel back in the day. Because uh, how I... We're looking right in front of us is a 40-inch TV, like an LED TV, staring right at us. And that's how I see everything blown up. But when I make videos and stuff, I edit them on pretty big screens. And I usually watch some of my videos back on like a 60-inch TV in our living room to make sure it looks good. And a lot of live streams I watch is in my living room on my TV. And I have my phone for the chat or a computer for a chat or a tablet. Uh, I, I come from a career in IT. So having tons of devices is like my life and it's my bread and butter uh, being a systems uh, administrator guy. But uh, anyways... Uh, I recommend if you don't have it already, something hooked up to your TV, like a smart box. Most TVs have the YouTube app uh, built in the smart TVs. If not, if you have like any kind of Android box, PlayStation, Xbox, 
Uh, or if not, the cheapest way is just grab a Chromecast. Go to Best Buy uh, or your local electronics store or go on Amazon. I, I don't know if Amazon sells Chromecast. I don't know if they work that feud out. But there was a whole Amazon, Google thing, not wanting to sell each other's products because they're like competing uh, in streaming and stuff. But the Google Chromecast easily can be hooked into an HDMI port on your TV. And from your mobile device, if you're watching this on a tiny phone screen, I recommend casting it to a Chromecast, which is hooked into your TV, and it'll blow it up nice and huge. And that's usually how I'm looking at the fonts and how, like, if you want to see the game, like, really nice, blow it up huge. Blow it up huge on a big TV. That's the best way to do it. But if, if, you you're, if you're at work and you're just watching it secretly on your phone and your <laughs> boss is, like, walking by, do it how you got to do it. But uh, just something I want to say, like, yeah, watch it, watching these on TV, yeah, that's how I enjoy my tabletop gaming streams uh, from other streamers and, and YouTube creators and stuff. Yeah, if you can get YouTube on the TV, man, that's the best way to best way to watch it. Cause so that's how I film it. Like it's from a, an angle, obviously, and everything. Like you're watching on a big screen. That's what we see on too. So, just a tip for anyone who doesn't know what a Chromecast is. Cause I, I'm shocked sometimes when I I blow people's minds. I go over to family members' houses and then I'm like, why are you watching YouTube on your little phone? We could all watch the video together on a big TV. Just cast it to the TV and they're like, what are you talking about? But yeah, there's like Android boxes and stuff with Chromecast built in. Just look up Chromecast. Like a tiny little device you plug in. And you can send YouTube videos to your screen. So it's just a side note that hopefully will help some people out. Uh, and that's all YouTube content. It just looks some of it looks nice on big big TVs. Or any videos that you want to watch yeah. on your phone. But just like board games and stuff with like the small yeah. text. Sometimes I'm holding up a card. I'm reading it off a big screen, but like on your phone, you might not be able to see the text I'm holding up to the screen and stuff. Um, but it's good with board or games. Or for those people that don't know, there's a TV in front of us and wonder what we're looking at. <laughs> yeah, we're staring at ourselves right now. It's great. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, Munchop says, I sent you another email explaining some of the aspects of my storage solution a few days ago. I saw it, Munchop. I saw it uh, about the pins and the, and the Elmer's glue and that stuff for the, uh, for the storage solution. Um, yes, I have it. I've archived those emails for later when I actually have some time to sit down and work on a project of actually making my own answer. I think that's a super cool thing, which maybe I'll do a video of if I, if I ever get good at that kind of thing. But, uh. Yeah, there's a couple games where I like play, we play them enough over the years, like say Scythe or something, where I'd love to have a little insert where I just pull it out. Oh, here's yeah, yeah. here's the stuff on the table, boom, 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 like yeah, yeah or something, something like that. I gotta I gotta do it, but I did like what you did for Aeons, and I think that's awesome. Um, let's see, uh, Alexis B, I know you have New Age and Clank Legacy, but what is another game you're looking at that you haven't bought yet? There's a couple. Man. <laughs> There's like, There's a couple. There's like a new game every day. I'm like, ooh, ooh, look at, ooh, look at that one. Ooh, I want that one. Ooh, let's add that to the list, add that to the list. And then what after a while, it? so I do this thing uh, that I learned, like being frugal. Uh, you make lists of, I learned this thing a few years back. Make lists of things you want or you go into a store, you take a pick of something like, oh, I really want that. I don't need it, but I want that. You take picks of things and then you wait a month. Is like, they say, wait like 30 yeah, days, 30 wait, days. wait a few months, whatever. Then look at this list again, and after something's been sitting on a list for a while, do you really need it? Did it really matter? And then you you pick certain things, and if they're really, you really, really still want them, and they're still hot, because the thing is marketing and hype and stuff, that is usually, that can lure a lot of people in. There's some sneaky tactics in marketing that just make you feel like if you, there's a big, they mess with the fear of missing out, make you really feel mm -hmm. like you need it. Uh, so I learned a lot to add things to a list and really want. And then I'll go back to that like wish list. I have wish lists on like Amazon and the different board game retailers that are lo more local to me and stuff that I like supporting. Um, and those wish lists, I add, I add, I add. And but then every month I go back and I just start removing, removing, <laughs> removing because it's like that game ended up stinking. That expansion I don't need. I don't even play the game anymore. That game I it's collecting dust, whatever. And I just like mark things off. But that's, that's something I've been doing. But as a side note, um, games. I don't know what I remember. What are, do you, can you remember any that are on your list that you're... No. No? Uh, Everdell. Everdell is yeah. one people keep mentioning in the chat. That is one, uh, yeah, I, I need to, to get. I reached out to Starling Games, uh, asking them if they would like to provide, uh, review copies. And yeah, their, their marketing company, whoever that is, just, they said, no, we're not, we don't qualify. I asked them what that means, but they mm -hmm. wouldn't tell me. That's okay. <laughs> probably because we live in Canada, I assume, and shipping is probably too much. But anyways, I reached out to see if we get review copies like some of the other YouTubers get, but they said no. So Everdell, I'll track down a copy eventually. That's the one I'm, I'm looking to get at some point. But <laughs> uh, yeah, but there's there's so many games. There's so many games. Um, but yeah, I don't want to say certain ones because we have other things lined up. Some companies are kind of helping us out and getting other games and some games like we have our Patreon uh, uh, support, which I try to keep in like a monthly budget. 
and I'm kind of being smart with certain games, trying to get games that I think will fit the channel and people like, but yeah, it's a hard one to answer. That's a hard one to answer, and it changes like every minute. Like every minute, I'm like, man, there's a new awesome game. Uh, cough. <laughs> See, Mont, I'm a cough. <laughs> or come on. Uh, yeah, that, well, hmm. That's I think that falls under Asthma in North America now, and I got to reach out to them and, and ask about uh, Simon games or Come On games or Cool Mini or Not games because there's a, there's a few like we I've backed a bunch of their Kickstarters in the past, but uh, like every Zombicide, yeah, like every single Zombicide, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and a few other games, but yeah, I need to I need to reach out to them too. <laughs> you are correct because <laughs> they do fit the type of games we like playing on the channel. Kingdom of Death Monster, I have looked at it, gets in. Oh, yeah. Uh, but the price, it's crazy. Uh, and I don't know... Yeah. I looked at it when I was getting into Dark Souls, when I was going to back one or the other at the time. I chose Dark Souls, because I, I love the Dark Souls IP. So I didn't pick Kingdom of Mon De Death Monster. But then I go to Gen Con, and I see lineups around the, like... It's insane. The lineups for that yeah. booth, Kingdom of Death Monster. There's a hype, hype, hype community, like a yeah. hardcore fan base for that game. Yeah. Uh, but it's just something I never got into, and I, I do see people streaming it, but there's not that many people watching it, and I just thought, like, okay, it seems, like, very niche, um, but it does look interesting. If I had, like, unlimited funds, I would own Kingdom of Death Monster. That's... Just to... Just to that's for sure. Yeah. It, miniatures, fighting bosses, like, this, this is stuff I love to do in games, so, like, mm -hmm. I definitely see it, but it just, I don't know. Maybe at some point in the future, maybe if I see them at Gen Con, I'll talk to them and that kind of thing, but, like, yeah, it's... I don't know. It's, yeah... There's so many games, too many to pick from. And then there's all these new games like Oathsworn and all this stuff that oh, I, yes. I like want to play these games now that are coming out of Kickstarter, just popping up out of nowhere every 10 minutes. There's these awesome like epic campaign games, minis, giant fantasy themed games. I'm like, yes, 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 yes. But it's like $150, $200, $300, $150. It's like, boom, 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 boom. like it's crazy. But uh, yeah, so it's like, that's just, yeah. Kingdom of Death looks cool, but it's like there's so many other things too. So it's like it's hard to like rank that. And Winston says KDM costs too much to get into, just like Joan jo Joan of Arc. Sorry, Joan of Arc. Yeah, that'll get that looks cool too. But that's another thing. It's huge. It's hard. Some of these games are just hard to get into. There's so many. Um, Buell says, are there any Kickstarters that you both think are interesting? Frosthaven's Frost the only one that like we're 100 percent backing. Like. Yeah. Like day one? Like second one. Like second I'm one. refresh F5, <laughs> F5 on my keyboard and backed, yeah. done. Like we're, we already have the money budgeted. Well, that is like, that's our Kickstarter budget for sure for the yeah. next little bit Oops, is sorry. all, no matter what's needed, like however much they charge for it, I can't. Yep. Like our fans love those videos, loved our playthrough of it. And, like, and we loved it. Yes, we did. And I hope now with what I know improving our channel and live streaming and all that stuff i hope i can cover that game better because i didn't know at the time we were playing that like how well that would have been received yeah. um so i'm gonna get a second chance here with frost haven yeah. so i want to do that game right and uh live stream it like you know really highlight the game better use the better quality cameras we have now better yeah. better setup and everything so i'm excited for that game for that um, um. let's see they have winners. Death May Die is really good. Death May Die looks cool. The other one uh, is Bloodborne, the board game. That looks interesting to me. I want to try that. And then there's that other one, uh, which I do forget the name of for, from uh, Come On, that uh, it has the board that has like cards going the spots in the game. Like the board changes over plays. Like uh, you basically, like, there's like a plastic little um, holders on the board in different spots that you play. And, like, uh, you put cards in, and based on things that happen in the game, you'll, like, take those out and put new spots in. I don't know. It's, I don't even know what that is. It's, like, a legacy-style thing. But instead of using stickers, it's kind of using cards. It just looks oh. neat. That that aspect looks neat to me. But I don't know if the game's any good. But that one kind of caught my eye. But uh, I don't even remember what it's called now. It's just so many generic uh, names coming out of cool mini rock games. Like, Death May Die. Like, if you don't know what that is, like, in a, in a couple years, you'll be, like, you'll no only remember the name of that game just because, like, a, a, a weird name. Like, mm -hmm. It doesn't uh, stick. It's just like, there's so many, but like, yeah. Like Blood Rage, we all know that because it's super popular, but think of it as just Trudvang, Trudvang Legends, right? Oh, I do know that. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's based on some like RPG the license. The Eric Lang one. Yes. yes, yes. Well, there's so many. Well, they, put Eric, just... they put Eric Lang's name on every game now just because he's like head of their design <laughs> team or whatever. So like all he has to do is like, you know, the designer just goes, hey, Eric, can you just look at this card for me? And he goes, <laughs> yeah, that card look, oh, you just typo on there. Okay, thanks, Eric. And then they put his name on the front of the box like, Eric Lang, developed by Eric Lang or whatever. It's like, well, he only spent 10 minutes with the designer, but... Yeah. So I don't like the way they 
bought him basically just use his name on every single game because I, I feel like, you know, some of them they're just using his name. But I think for that one, he specifically did a video showing I've, it off. Yeah, I think I so. think if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think that one's from his, like, wheelhouse of yeah, things. But, yeah, uh, uh, but yeah. I probably missed some chat stuff Yeah, there. I think we did. Uh, Winston says, uh, come on is a hard no for me. Mm. Yeah, I see that. I, I can see some of the projects that are coming out of there. It's like, oh boy, and it's like, yeah, I I'll buy their stuff at retail now. Is is the way I look at it. I'll wait till stuff's in retail and then grab it then. Mm -hmm. I don't need all the extra. And I saw someone post something. And this was is totally like exactly worded it the way I would word it. But I always thought like I started to realize after backing so many kickstarters with so many so much extra stuff that I never even got to play because I only played the game so many times and I don't play all that extra stuff that I got. It's like I could have just bought it at retail and played the base game and still have been fine, had the same amount of plays out at the same amount of enjoyment. Uh, but I realized what those what those were. Somebody basically said Kickstarter exclusives are basically just GameStop pre-order bonuses. <laughs> so it's basically like you come and pre-order the game for us, give us your cash directly, cut out the middlemen, and we'll give you these pre-order bonuses. That's all it really is. Yeah. And like I hated that with GameStop. I don't care about all that extra fluff, so it's exactly what they're doing. But some it's, people are collectors, and they need to have all of it. Yeah, but I don't like the idea of like get you. I don't like the idea of they get all our money up front, and then they don't have to necessarily provide like an amazing game. They can just yeah. provide a good game, True. and then they get away with it. But because they already got the money from everybody. Yeah, um, and what are you gonna do? Like refund it after you play it and go, this sucks. Yeah, <laughs> but if it comes into stores, then they got to make sure it sells. They're not getting as much profit off it. I don't know. There's just things I think I could be completely wrong. Winston back to his council of the West Kingdom. Clyde's getting Shadows of Killforth tomorrow. If you haven't tried Gloom of Killforth yet, it's a fun two-player game. Hmm. Gloom of Killforth. That sounds familiar, but I'm not sure that. what that is, Clyde. Um, but I'll look into it. Um, there's one up there from Alexis uh, saying, Thanks, I found your channel a couple weeks ago, and I've been watching and buying all your solo playthrough games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. <laughs> I apologize to your wallet. I apologize to your bank account. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate the kind words. Uh, more people that are in for Frosthaven. All right. We should get, Okay. Yeah, let's get to it. Let's get to the play. We I'm having to, too much fun chatting. We need to me. have just a chat with us day. Yeah, I got to do like a monthly <laughs> Q&A or somewhere. Where you just, just like, sit come and, like, and chat with us yeah, and we'll sit here. Like for... they do on Twitch, those like uh, our, our, in like real life, real, yeah. in real life chats, like the yeah. IRL chats, where you just yeah. sit here and like, let's chat while we like, Sleeve cards. No, we'll just sit here like this, exactly. Yeah. Black screen behind us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, anyways, let's okay. get to it. I apologize, everyone watching this archive video later. They're like, come on, get to it. I know someone will timestamp it down below when we actually start playing, and I do appreciate people that do that. I think that's awesome. <laughs> I used to do that for you, yeah, but I, know, I don't I know. know that I have time. Someone's been doing it lately, and I appreciate it. Uh, okay. Patreon goal Patreon <laughs> says Wiki Fits. <laughs> you're right. I know. We do need Already, to do this yeah. on Patreon, too. Yes, you're right. We do. Yep, we have. Yep. Some plans. We will, Ryan. We will. Yeah. Oh, see, they'd be down for it. Yes. For that. Okay. 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 Maybe we'll just plan this once yeah. a month. We'll yeah. just come and chat. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's giving me trouble. It's giving me trouble a bit. No, oh, stream is good. Okay. I learned this, 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 and this. Patreon goal is great. Gedson says, meaning like. Make a Patreon goal. To so say, when you reach when a reach certain this, amount, we'll, we'll do do, uh, do the month. monthly chat. But like, I want to do exclusive videos for our Patreon levels of, of of a certain amount. I think it's the five dollar tier and higher. I see people do that. It seems to work really well. I want to do like a monthly exclusive video only for those patrons to kind of give back. Mm -hmm. I was not sure yet if it should be something like a. I don't know something not related to the same content we do on the channel, or if it's just like. Uh, More play, of a the pl same. Yeah, or a playthrough video that's like literally you only can see on Patreon. I, mm -hmm. see, I see I see some people that do that, but I'm like, I don't know if I agree with hiding stuff behind a paywall like that, but I know it's more like of a giving back, uh, yeah. but it wouldn't affect the content I do already. So I'm trying to figure out, like, I'm still trying to brainstorm, like, I'll do something for March, but I think I'll, like, rotate it maybe, and sometimes it'll be, like, a live playthrough only for them. The only problem is that doesn't work for everyone's time zone, so I feel, oh, like, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, I feel like it should be pre-recorded or something, or maybe I do, like, a Q&A video in the afternoon and then one in the evening or nice. something or like where there's like eight hours in between so that I can catch both people but I'll do it just like behind the scenes or something like mm -hmm. that or I, I don't know I'll figure some stuff out maybe you know, I can talk with some of the guys or post on Patreon to see For what some ideas yeah just what do they want to see yeah. what's a video they want to see me do and if it's like 
pulling out some crazy game that has a 90 page rule book that I have on my shelf to play. Like that's what I gotta do. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways. Uh, all right. So let's go. Let's get to what we're here for. To it. Aeon's End, if you forgot what you were here for, we are now to the game. Aeon's End. Uh, I don't know about exclusive stuff. Uh, I'd like it to be free for all. I don't mind backing for someone who can't. Oh, okay, so that's super nice. Yeah, it's okay. just, I, I, I like, I want to put the, the videos that we edit, I put on there like exclusive ad free for like a week or whatever, then I'll release them. So I'm going to start doing that with our recorded content mm -hmm. where I put it up there ad free. So they get something that will eventually be available to everybody. But I just want to do like a once a month, like a thank you something for our patrons. And I'll, I'll figure out something for that. We could almost do a patron only live chat where you would say same yeah. like we're doing this, but yeah, for true. patrons only. So it's maybe a smaller, more intimate group of people. It will be very small because we only have so many <laughs> patrons, especially at that tier. I know. So I feel bad. Like it's like, uh, yeah. Or you do it for all the tiers at the beginning for the first one to maybe. kind of show yeah, yeah, what true. we would do and then go from there. Yeah. True, true. But we'll come up with some ideas. We've yeah, been brainstorming. And I'm like, I'm it. like going through other people's <laughs> patrons, trying to figure like, what do they do for their patrons? Like, I, I'm yeah. such a noob with this stuff. Yeah. Should make a Discord channel. I oh, saw that, but I need to, I need to read more up on that, Ryan. I've told I know you Mel's too. like, you should do that. Other people do that. I'm like, yeah. yeah I think I that'd guess. be fun for us to chat with you guys in there. True. Yes, that's actually what. <laughs> But then it would deter away from my real work, trying to edit videos and stuff. It's like, I've done that before in the discords of like other, other discord channels I'm in. And I, I'll just be like editing a video and then I'll, uh, I'll see someone post something super interesting. I'll start, I'll just start chatting away, then start a side chat with somebody. And then boom, it, it's, it's like an hour just disappeared. I'm I'll, bad like that. I'll look into it for him. Yeah, yeah. Cause he, Mel he will says, help me. Mel will he help says me. he'll look into it. It'll be down the yeah, road. I can. I have like a list of things I want to do like this. And it's like, <laughs> man, this is tough. I'll add it to my list. One, uh, yeah. Because I think it'd be fun. I would be in it and I would be yeah, chatting absolutely. with you guys too. I think that'd yep. be fun. And she hit me over the head after I forget to like log into it. After a day, she'd be like, these five people are asking you questions. Get in there. Get I know. Sometimes there. do that with the comments. Did you see this comment? Because they're yeah. funny. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh. Oh, Dominic's here. We can start okay. now. Okay. We've been trying to kill time until you showed up and you're now here. Okay. We can do it. Okay. I think everyone's here <laughs> except for Sujat, but he'll be here eventually. Yeah. Or not. I don't remember <laughs> if not. it's time zones bad for him on the weeknights or the weekends, but it's funny when he shows up late. And then... okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So last time uh, in episode four, this is episode five mm -hmm. uh, and four, we played chapter four where we had trouble the first time again. And we had to replay it, and we got to swap a card out, and at the end we got some new cards. Uh, I guess you would have saw those in the last episode, but mm -hmm. we'll quickly go over our market for those who maybe haven't watched the episodes like back to back or, or, or whatever, fully. or those who are watching live but haven't watched the other one. Maybe soothing torp torp torporine. It's three cost gain. It's a gem, obviously. Gain two ether or silence a minion. We finally figured out how to work that properly in the last one. It worked out good. <laughs> uh, four costs for this gem. Phased Portalite. Gain two ether. If your third breach is open, gain an additional ether. So that's only two gems. Then we have Geophage, which is gain an ether. You may destroy a gem in hand for three. This is a uh, relic. And then we have Etheral Hand. An ally draws two cards. One we brought back in that I believe was in the starter relics. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. Can't remember. But any ally draws two cards. Uh, we have Warping Haze. Cast... Uh, this is a spell, three costs, deal two damage. If you have two or more other prep spells, deal additional damage. Forest Transfusion, ca uh, four cost spell, cast, deal three damage. If you have three or more charges, gain a charge. Bending Beam, we've all seen that used a few times. Five costs, Bending Beam, uh, cast, deal two damage. If the spell was cast from an open three breach, deal three additional damage. Pyrogeist is our new spell we grabbed, uh, which is six cost. Uh, when you prep this, deal the damage. And then cast, deal one damage, period, and then deal two damage. So you can target two different guys with that. That's super cool. And we got Breach Collision, which is seven cost. Uh, when you gain this, you may place it on top of any player's discard pile. Cast, deal five damage, and Grave Hold gains one life. Yes. Time to suffer, says Edgar. Oh, oh Edgar's no, here. He's no. going to tell. He's, he's telling us how it is. He's bring, We're trying to have fun with the game here, and Edgar's here going, guys, Real Aeon's end about to start. He knows. <laughs> he knows we're gonna lose. Uh, but anyways, we hopefully not this time. We got like we gotta win on the first try. Yeah. I'm like really we're want gonna to. do it this time. Uh, Buell says the podcast I'm part of has a Discord. It's kind of nice to be able to chat with fans. I agree. Oh. That's why I love doing live streams. I'm doing it. We've just been doing it for like 
the last 20 something minutes yeah, I, I, I love that part of live streaming that's, that's one of my favorite things that's why i just started doing most stuff live now it's like just just chat with everyone um what type of podcast do you do what is it about no 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 a podcast he's uh a, a part podcast of. i am part of oh yeah, he doesn't he's involved yeah, in Bueller, yeah podcast. sorry about? i thought it, he meant he was he ha- knew a podcast no, that had i think it's part. yeah oh that's cool and then munchup says look at the bottom of the card it tells you which deck it's from oh i see uh number four yeah so this is the other one we got new out of the uh, number four but you were talking about this one that you thought we brought back yeah, it says one, deck one A. Yes, yeah, so, so we I'm did. assuming yeah. that was the first one. Oh, yeah. I see. Okay. And Warping Haze was the starting one, I guess. I feel like we've 1A. had that the whole time, yeah. And but Bending Beam says one D. Well, maybe because it wasn't one like split into like. I feel like it bits. was. It yeah. was like a big deck that was split in. Yeah. Because I remember they stop in the middle sometimes, yeah, and then yeah. they have your reveal after. Yeah. But. I remember the very first one was like, here's your starting market. And then after that, we got new stuff. Okay. Um, Munch up. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. All right. You guys are so informative. Yes, we love it. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. So uh, we're going to read chapter four conclusion card here. It, this uh, basically says, do not read the back until you're ready to start chapter five. We are ready. Uh, so this one says, no one saw the breach open at the edge of your camp. A dark void hidden against the night sky. No one saw the fog slip out of the breach, creeping slowly towards a new grave hold until it is too late. You wake to shouts of alarm as the camp is enveloped. With every breath, you take a little, uh, you take in a little more fog. You notice your crystals cracking, susceptible to some poison in the air. A faint figure moves through the gloom, grabbing survivors and draining them of life. Read the front of L35, please. Gedson's got to go, though. I need to go watch later tomorrow or watch it later tomorrow. It's pretty late here. Thanks for the chat. See you soon. Totally oh, that's understood. So nice. Thank yes, you. Yes, I appreciate us. it. I know time zones don't work always for everybody, but I appreciate it, guys. And thank you so much thank for you. being here. All right. Uh, so this one says you jump back as a twisted breach opens just in front of you. Zaxos rushes out, looking panicked. I made it, he says breathlessly. I got here in time. Malastar rushes over, covering his mouth to the fog. What is this? Zaxos laments. The nameless are no longer content to wait for us. This one consumes the unprepared. We should have left the breaches open, studied them. We could have taken their power for our own. I just need to... The fog begins to thicken around you as Zaxos' last words become muddled. The Nameless has sanctioned you off, thinking you are easy prey. Read the back of his card. Open envelope labeled Chapter 5, then open Stop 5 deck. Okay. And it says combine all of the... Haze Fiend. So we're doing chapter five here, The Darkest Night. And that looks strange. I don't know what's going on there on the art, but uh, Shang Song there. Your soul is mine. <laughs> All right. Haze Fiend. Look at this guy. So Buell says, sorry for late reply. The stream on my TV is lagging on the computer. I'm part of a Legends of the Five Rings role-playing podcast. Oh, oh that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. I'm not really into that or else I would listen, but. Yeah, I played Legend of the Five Rings LCG for yeah. a bit when FFG took over that game. I uh, played it for like the first year of it being out. Went to Worlds, played at Worlds in that. Uh, I made Day 2, which I was kind of blown away at. That yeah, wasn't the main was... game I went there to play. Uh, but I did a bunch of videos of that on the channel. But the, uh, we're not really into like role playing games. I've really played role playing games, but I love the L five R like um, IP. Yeah. Like uh, I, I love that stuff. That's cool. Um, but yeah, that's awesome. So that's cool. That's cool. All right, Haze Fiend seventy five health. Uh, if you want to set that it. there, Haze Fiend gains one Nemesis token. Oh, when he unleashes, I see. Oh my God! Look, he has so much rules text. Oh sweet. He unleashes like up here, and there's no hard difficulty section in the right like they normally have had. So it's set up. Each player writes their name at the bottom of each of their crystals. Whoa. Okay. Where's my other marker? I never even noticed. Yeah, I did notice that. I never noticed. I did notice that, but I just thought oh it was like... Oh my god, I'm such a noob. <laughs> I never noticed they have like white little boxes to write your names on them. Chat amongst yourselves while we do this. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we could have been doing this that whole time. I could have been. Yeah. Ready. Oh, we're so dumb. All <laughs> These right. are yours, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me do my I first. have six crystals total, if you don't mind, with your more neater writing. Uh, okay. So each player writes their name at the bottom of each of their crystals. 
At first, we didn't know what the haze fiend was. Reports had come from a mysterious fog enveloping our camps, appearing and vanishing within an hour, leaving several dead and wounded behind. We had no idea it was a nameless, and that the fog was its natural camouflage. If not stopped, haze fiend will travel from camp to camp, extinguishing all life until it reaches new gravehold. We will do what we can to prepare, but we cannot always be vigilant. I fear it will come when we are eating or sleeping. Or on the can. I'm just kidding. Those Did you it. say more neater? More neater? <laughs> That's probably what you said. <laughs> Did I say that? Probably. That's okay. Hmm. Oh, for your writing. Yes, yeah. I probably did. <laughs> That's okay. It's the more neatest. Thanks. It's more funner than anything <laughs> I've ever seen. Yes, more neater. I'm sorry, Winston. <laughs> uh, all right. Buell says, I started playing L5R in the 90s, uh, initially AEG's CCG. I remember watching uh, games that played at Gen Con, one of the first Gen Cons I went to. I was like, why is there this giant crowd around this game being streamed? And I was like, what is this? And I remember seeing the game. It looked pretty neat. And then someone explained to me while I was watching that, based on the winning, it would affect how the game cards were printed and stuff like that. It was cool. Canadian Canadianisms are strange. Yeah, no, that's, that's exactly it. That's just a Robism. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, that's not me being <laughs> that's a, how we all a, speak. a dummy. That's uh, yeah, that's that's how we talk, eh? <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then the role playing when it came out, cool. So, is the role playing game who who publishes the role playing game for L five R? Like, is that still a thing? Or are you playing, like, the role-playing game that, like, AEG used to publish? I don't know if FFG does the role-playing game for L5R. I'm pretty sure they do, right? Didn't they take that over? I think they bought, like, the whole IP. Uh, that's my understanding. But I'm just curious if they started up the role-playing game under FFG. Oh, FFG does produce it? They produce a role-playing oh. game for F L5R? I did that's not cool. know that. I don't pay attention to the role-playing stuff, like, to be honest. I do see every now and then, like, I'm in their press conference or whatever at Gen Con, I'll see them talk about role-playing games and stuff, but, like, I don't, yeah. Are you tune out? Yeah, I kind of tune out, just because it's like, man, it's already too many board games and card this? games to pay attention to. It's just wanna... nothing against role-playing games at all, nothing against them, but it's just, like, a world I haven't delved into yet. Oh, it's only six months old? Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's new. But I like that they do those RPG books. My understanding is like they really help uh, fill out the lore that maybe like the card games don't do 100% good job at. Is like you can get like the role playing books uh, to get extra lore and story and stuff to like help round it out, which I think is kind of neat. All right, Haze Fiend. You gain a Nemesis token uh, as is Unleash. Additional rules at the end of any Nemesis turn in which Haze Fiend has two or more Nemesis tokens, it fractures a crystal. What is fracturing a crystal, you say? Any player places a flawed sticker on one of the non-flawed crystals in their hand or discard pile and suffers two damage. Oh my god. If no player has a non-flawed crystal in their hand or discard pile, place a flawed sticker on a non-flawed crystal in the destroyed pile. The player whose name is on the crystal suffers two damage. If no sticker was able to be placed in this way, any player suffers two damage. Haze Fiend loses two Nemesis tokens. Repeat this until Haze Fiend has one or less Nemesis tokens. So similar to the last guy with when they have... Um, yeah, so when he has two or more, we trigger this ability where he's hunting down our crystals and trying to wreck them. And give us two damage. Sweet. And he'll just keep putting stickers on until he can't put no more stickers and he still gives us two damage no matter what. And he's destroying these crystals as he's doing it? No, he's, he's they're making them flawed. Oh, okay, okay. He's making them flawed. So what what that what does that mean? Flawed crystals will remain flawed through the remaining games of Aeons and Legacy. When playing a Legacy character outside this campaign, use non-flawed crystals. I think we have a few extra crystal cards from the other games that we can use. Uh, players must use the flawed or non-flawed crystals bearing their names to build their starting deck and hand in all subsequent games of Aeons and Legacy. Do not add flawed stickers if there are none left. Do not replay this chapter if you lose this game. Whoa, this is a one and done, this one. Uh-oh. 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 No pressure or anything. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So we don't know what flawed crystals do, and please don't spoil it in the chat if you know, which I'm assuming some of you guys do. So I assume that will come into 
a factor in the future. Yeah. Because I don't think I read anything there about what they do. No. But can um, you just read again, uh, any player places a flawed... Okay, so at the end of the Nemesis turn, in which the Haze Fiend has two or more tokens... Okay, any player places a flawed sticker on a non-flawed crystal in their hand or discard pile and suffers two damage. Okay. Yeah, I'll get the insight out. So it's insight 10, uh, which I I'm probably will have those stickers on them. Maybe you'll have some in extra info. Nope. Where is it? There it is. Insight 10. Oh, gosh. Blah. I just left those laid out so that they can dry before we start oh, mashing yeah, yeah, them yeah. together. Yep, but yep, yep. I think I'm using one that is. Uh, so it says, uh, so this is rule book stuff. Mm, didn't tell us where this one goes, but. That goes in X. This one goes in X. So during setup, players must use crystals that have their names written at the bottom of their starting deck, uh, hand and deck. This includes those with flawed stickers on them. Players choose the location of those flawed crystals. In both their starting hand index. This is I think it goes the, in J. Yes, player setup for sure. Don't we still have that uh, errata form? Paper? Oh, yes. Uh, yes, yes, somewhere. It's probably yep, that. right here. You're right. Uh, yeah, Insight 10. This starts during setup should be stickered in Rulebook J. Mm, like I already knew that. Yeah, that's cool. Perfect. Right. Uh, and Ryan's message got oh. blocked there. What's he saying? <laughs> he said the word butt um. or suck butt. So uh, <laughs> YouTube doesn't like that. And sorry, what you? <laughs> Ryan says, have to put you on the TV after all. Jumping into Journeys of Middle Earth, need a phone app for, for need phone for app, LOL. Nice. Oh. <laughs> so you're watching us while you're playing another no game. No worries. <laughs> love it. And Journeys of Middle Earth is so good. I love that game. Yes, yes. It's so, one of my top Oh, top. Buell, I saw that. Yeah, FFG's uh, ending their role-playing division. I saw that. Oh. But does that mean they're ending all the role-playing games, or is it just going under another Asmodee publisher? Like, Asmodee's been doing some weird reorganizing stuff, I think. Like, Asmodee North America or whatever. So I heard they're laying people off there, but I don't know if that is going to end role playing for them, or if they're just Asmodee is just going to have another publisher do all the role playing stuff. I don't know, but yeah, that's kind of sad. Yeah, my mind shop's talking about the Keyforge role playing. We we didn't know about that one, but if they're getting rid of yeah, the Keyforge role playing, I did see that because I was pretty heavy into Keyforge last year, and they announced it at their inflight. Yeah, report, their inflight report was yeah, huge. We saw yeah, that. but I think that works with their Genesis system, and I have a feeling. I don't know if they're killing the whole role-playing division or if they were just downsizing it. Uh, so I don't know if they're going to keep the Genesis stuff still going or, yeah, I don't know. But Oh, uh, Buell says whatever FFG had planned in the works will still be released, but oh. that is where things went. Ouch. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sucks. Interesting. That sucks. That goes in J. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, uh, I think these are the sticker, the flawed stickers. Look at this. Gain one ether that cannot be used to buy a spell. <laughs> well, that's awful. That's awful. So that's what a flawed sticker or flawed so crystal is. we need to give them to me. Well, I want you to buy this spell. Put it in my discard Yeah, but pile. I'll use those to buy them. So I'll I know, use my gems I know, I know. to buy. Yeah, I know. We've, the, we've seen this before. Yeah, we can get around this. And then the bottom one goes in X. Yep. Uh, this says degrade. When a nemesis card forces a player to degrade a card, that player must destroy a card that costs two ether or more. Then that player may gain a card of the same type from any supply, which costs less than the cost of the destroyed card, and place it into their hand. If a player cannot degrade a card, that player suffers two damage. This is a damage heavy chapter. <laughs> oh, the sticker is too big for the box it's provided. Str uh, flawed stickers, when instructed, place one of these so that it covers the, oh, covers the gain one. Yeah, ether. you would like cover this. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And then the flawed crystal marker instructions. Place one of these in the top section of the crystal after you placed a flawed sticker on it so that it stands out in your hand. Uh, so like put it up oh, in the corner see, yes. so when you're like have them fanned out, you know. Mutton Chop hates flawed crystals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that. I already that. don't like them as well. Yeah, I'm already getting frustrated. Sorry, let me <laughs> just see that degrade thing one more time. I right see. here. When a nemesis card forces a player to degrade a card, 
That player must destroy a card that costs two ether or more. Yeah. That... So if I get rid of the, a phased portalite in my hand, you I can get a. It has to cost less. I destroy so it out of the game. Yeah. Then I'm allowed to take one that costs three or less. Oh, it's just, less. It's just equal. messing with your plans. Yeah, man. yeah. This is terrible. Hmm. Okay. But we're gonna do this. So we need to try to get more expensive stuff, and then when it destroys it, we take the less expensive stuff, and not have to suffer two damage every time. Yeah. That's really what it's doing. So. Yeah. Uh, and I wanted to highlight a comment actually. Uh, shout out to Ron Hatch, who will probably be watching this later. Uh. Degrading and flying are not the same thing. You are being introduced to both. That I understand. That's yes. why I wanted to reread degrading, just to be sure. Uh, but one sec. I just want to read this um, from Ron Hatch. Left this comment on one of our previous episodes. Thank you, Ron, for watching through them and leaving awesome comments and suggestions. Uh, but he, I just want to point this out for Mel's benefit, my benefit too, to remind myself. I read this earlier today. Uh, I'll mention my biggest aha moment for Aeon's End. Almost every mage in the game can have five crystals in hand on the second turn just by not spending them all on the first. Some of the possible legacy mages are exceptions since you need to be able to play all of your starting spells. But sparks are at the bottom of the starting deck for a reason. Whether or not you should do it depends on the market, but you should always plan what you want to do with your ether on the first two turns and see if, for example, spending three and five is better than spending four twice. I'm particularly fond of this trick when there are nice big five cost gems available since it will be easy to afford the second one the next time through the deck. Get two expensive gems together that early in the game, and it makes a massive difference. Something mm -hmm. to think about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just want to highlight that. Thank you again, Ron, for leaving comments like this on our last few videos. If you're struggling with Aeon's End, uh, go back and read some of his comments on all the other episodes. He's been leaving them over the last few days, watching them through. But uh, shout out to you, Ron. Thank you so much for that that feedback. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, we're still we're kind of new to Aeon's End, and like we've played lots of deck builders, and that may have warped our like thoughts and strategy on deck builders is Aeons and is like a different beast that's for sure and depending on which nemesis you're playing and that kind of thing you have to like and the market you have definitely messes with that strategy for sure um Psy stream have way too many hiccups today for me so gonna watch it later what was it like buffering or just we're chatting too long it does say like Don't say there is. Is anyone else having issues at all? It did say it dropped a few frames. Um, but it says, like, YouTube says it's all good. But uh, on the streaming app, it says it's been dropping some frames. But not a ton or anything, just a few. Doesn't look. Uh, Ryan was earlier, but it's better now. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, it was buffering earlier. Mutton Shop says as well, but fine now. Okay, I guess let us know if it starts up again and we can... Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, YouTube would normally give us crap if it was like having trouble receiving content, but it's saying it's good. It says, excellent connection. Hmm. All right. Okay. Well, let us know if it changes. Yeah. So, uh, Haze Fiend. So we open the top five deck, combine all the Haze Nemesis cards with the basic cards you used last game to form the Nemesis deck. Follow the instructions on page 10 of the rulebook. Do not reveal any cards beyond the top five middle of the deck. Okay. Uh, so there is Nemesis cards to build the deck. I'll keep the middle stuff off to the side. Oh, it's buffering now. So weird. Oh, now I see it. Oh, look at that. Yeah, now there's an error. That's so weird. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, one sec, guys. We're going to, like, reboot. Uh, we'll be right back.
All right, we're back. Hopefully it's better. Uh, yeah, technical difficulty, technicals. Are you plugged back in? Uh, yep. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. All right, appreciate everyone waiting. We'll just give it a sec for people to reconnect and it refresh the window and that kind of stuff. Um, thank you for letting us know. Yes, thank wow. you guys. Like, it's weird. YouTube was saying, like, it was so good, and then all of a sudden, like, yeah. The streaming app was saying there was issues. That's and then, stuff. then like, after, like, it was like YouTube was delayed in letting us know <laughs> that there was a problem. Uh, but thank you. Thank you, thank you. Mine chat says it looks good so far. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Okay. Uh, we were... Uh, While you were doing that, I shuffled all those decks together. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. So you got the, yep. the Nemesis deck set up. Yep. Uh, so we did that part. Do not reveal any cards beyond the middle. Resolve the setup instructions for Haze Fiend. We did that. We wrote our names on the cards. Mm -hmm. uh, open in site 10. We did that and apply all rulebook stickers. Fight Haze Fiend. Read the front of L36 after your first game versus Haze Fiend. Munchup says it's buffering again. Hmm. Uh, Bad this time. Okay. Yeah, like it says, network test is good. Stream quality is good. Yeah, it does say there's drop frames though. I don't know why. Does it need to take a minute after you reboot everything? No. To like... Unless like Windows is being annoying and downloading something in the background. Sorry guys, one sec. CPU is good, RAM's like amazing, GPU is fine, nothing's above 50%. Ryan says, what's weird is that it was fine for the most part and then it got bad. Yeah, so it could be just a network yeah, thing, like it could be our network. ISP yeah. being annoying. But I just did like a, a bandwidth test and like everything seems good. Yeah. <laughs> LOL, come on IT man. I'm working on it, I'm working on it. <laughs> I can't help it if all the damn people in my neighborhood are watching Netflix at the same time, killing the ISP. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> what's ISP? Internet service provider. Oh. <laughs> I'm not in IT. You don't need to be in IT. <laughs> I didn't know what we that meant. We pay the bill to these people. You need to know who they are. <laughs> just like, you know, our, our water provider, our heat provider. Yeah. They provide the I internet to our house. ISP. I just thought it meant something like oh. computer related. Well, it's kind of, but. I don't know. Ethernet looks good. I, guys, I don't know. Hmm. Can you like lower stuff on that? Yeah, I could. But it's weird. Like It's the same settings I use all the time every time I stream. I haven't messed with it. Like It's literally been all the same settings since we streamed last time. The only thing that's different is like external forces, like our internet service provider, right? Lil says, I'm glad it isn't my work IT. They mess up more than they fix it. That's called job work. security, Buell. Job security. You got to make sure a few things break so then you look like a hero fixing them. <laughs> and Munchab thought it was his internet at first, so I didn't say anything. Aw. <laughs> uh, completely underrated. How many characters should I play for my first dive? Do I have to play five? No, we, we play two. He's playing. You're playing Lord of the Rings, right? You're talking Dreams of Middle Earth? Yeah, I think we only played two. We played we? two. Yes, two is fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We played two for the, the first two for adventures the thing, yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was fine. But you can play as many as you want, I guess. Yeah, but sometimes there's like a slight different difficulty level and stuff on them. 
uh, depending. Mm -hmm. Buell thought it was his too. It would buffer for a moment and then be good. Is it okay now? It seems like it's good. Like everything then, seems like 100% yeah. fine. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, we'll go with it for now. It seems good, but. I need to go on all the computers and make sure that like, it's not a Windows update day, right? No. I don't know what's. That's the second Tuesday of every month. Yeah. This is the first Tuesday. So next Tuesday, I have to make sure all the computers have downloaded their Windows update for the month so that it doesn't happen during my live stream or time it so they don't. Super annoying. Damn Windows 10. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, it is a thing. Every second Tuesday of every month, Microsoft releases uh, Windows updates to the world. So if you don't update your computer, make sure it's updating every second Tuesday of the month to make sure you get all your stuff locked in. Um, but yeah, they're saying it seems okay. Yeah, it seems fine now. Okay, could maybe have been it just, just took a minute to like. Yeah, could have been a networking thing, like in my neighborhood, or like our ISP having trouble. I don't know, but it seemed okay. The computer looks fine. YouTube says it's okay, but yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's working on. Okay, that, so, so okay. we're gonna continue with it. I apologize. Cool. Yeah. Thank you for letting us know. Yes, thank you. That's Thanks awesome. for pointing that out. Okay, let's get back to it. Uh, so we're gonna fight the Hayes fiend. Uh, so seventy five's health. We'll deal with his little additional rules when they come up. <laughs> well, Microsoft can wait. Rob is streaming. That is LOL. correct. <laughs> that is correct. I need to send some emails. I was like, do you yeah. know people there? I do know people at Microsoft. <laughs> yes, I used to work for a Microsoft partner, so it's funny. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dear Bill Gates, I want to stream a board game tonight, and I need you to flip some switches. No, <laughs> okay. Oh, I never shoveled this deck. This is the only one. <laughs> so are we? So we're all good, right? Other than what? That's your hand. This uh, is yes, my hand. this is my hand. Oh, the only thing I was gonna say that we added from last time is our new oh, stickers. Oh yes, our new abilities. So we cannot on the bottom. forget these. Yep, I gain an ether also on my rune of focus. Okay, and but... mine is. Uh, oh goodness. I know Where the I lights. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, if Gravehold has twenty or less life, Gravehold gains one life. That's cool. Every time you play so, that. Yeah. Okay. So. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Yeah? I think so. Okay. I'm just all nervous now about I know. this internet stuff. It should be okay. I know. Hopefully I can focus. Focus. <laughs> okay. Another I'm first. One. Okay. Oh, yeah. I remember that now I don't have sparks. Wait a minute. Yeah, your starting hand should be four crystals oh, and yeah. stone. Okay. Wow. And you set up your deck so that it's... Yeah. Yeah, your spark's on the bottom. So remember, what Ron Hatch said is you have four of these sitting here, so... Yeah, but I got five in my hand. Yeah. But is it smart to spend five now or five next turn? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> in this case, yeah. Me. In this case, it doesn't matter. But he was saying that in Legacy, it does mess with it. But in yeah. general, in, in... Like, for me, I only have three. Yeah. But I have three more sitting there. So if I just, like hold two and then i have a turn of five and i could grab bending beam like literally from turn two and beyond mm -hmm. or turn two and but beyond. for us our highest gem is only four so that's the one you want to jam back to back yeah i know but what i'm gonna do is i'm going to spend three to get the silencing soothing torpoline yep soothing torpoline yep yep, yep. And then I'm going to spend two on a charge. I want to have this um, silence minion because we don't know what these minions are going to do, if any, how bad they're going to be. I'd rather, I'd like to have that early. Yep, yep. So, and then I'm going to discard them this way and draw my five. Okay. Did I even say that the other two I was buying a charge or did I just in my head? Think I don't it? know, but you're buying a charge. I'm buying yes. a charge. The other two. I don't know <laughs> if I said it out loud or just in my head. I think so. <laughs> Nemesis. Okay. Oh, we got the... This guy already. Yeah, one second, one second. Something looking funny? No, uh, yeah, one second. I'm going to change something here. Uh, be right back. Boop.
Yeah, sorry, sorry. I will concentrate. I will concentrate. <laughs> I trust you guys. I just brighten up the camera a bit. I don't know if that's better or not, but Paranoia, Paranoia is setting in. For sure. He gets like that. Yeah. <laughs> is the internet out? Is it working? Can they see us? Okay. Okay. Minion. Ravenous Leviathan. Persistent. Gravehold suffers two damage and evolve. And he already has two evolve stickers. Seven health. Yep. Yes. This is a guy from the basic deck. We've yeah. seen him a few times. Yep. So that's it for them. Okay. Oh, now again. again. Why not? So suffer two damage and we're going to evolve. Gravehold. Gravehold, two damage down to 28. Yeah, if you want to flip a card, I will put the sticker because I think that's why we were forgetting card. last time. Yep, yep. Uh, so it's a minion. Uh, this is from the Haze Fiend deck. It's Smog Beast, seven health. Persistent, Gravehold suffers one damage. Any player discards a gem. So they're going to make it harder for us to get. So this is Haze Fiend's whole thing. I see it now already. It's stopping us from buying the expensive gems. And... The developers sat there thinking, ah, if we keep giving them expensive stuff, they'll take all the expensive cards and start filling them in and taking out the cheaper ones. But well, we thought of that. We got ahead of you there, and we have nice cheap options. So we just have to take the middle options, and then when we get hit with the flawed stuff, we take the cheaper options. And they're mm -hmm. still decent. They're still decent. Hopefully our market is set to handle Haze Fiend's bullcrap, but we'll see. Hopefully. You just need to get some spells in here, because seven damage, like, right off the bat on both of them? Yeah. That's insane. Yep, yep. Fitzooth. Fitzooth. All right. Uh, so. Hmm. <laughs> I see the dilemma. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, uh, let's just focus breach three for three. And then we'll put this rune of focus in there. Same starting I always do, I guess. I want to hold and like get something big I going. Know, but... but it, it's like I also want to get some breaches open, and this will gain me an ether on that turn also, which is still not that great, but hopefully I can grab something next turn. Okay, so draw five. Next. You again, Fitzooth. Okay, so Grateful suffers two, Grateful suffer one. Any player this guy's a gem. So I don't like the evolving. I guess that's like the worst. But taking gems also leads to less, less good decks early. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess I'll try to save Gravehold. Um... So, this so let's do this one first. Okay. Uh, focus a breach. Do I even have? Yes, I have two sparks coming. So let me get three open. Oh, I forgot to do that on my turn as oh, well. Sorry, my uh, focus yep. concentration yep. at the start of the game. Sorry, at the start of your turn of the of the. Oh my god, at the start of your first turn of the game, focus breach three twice. And I gain an ether. Shh, shh. Then I'll do one damage to the first guy here. Yeah. With a spark. Uh, let's prep, prep. So I have one ether off that spell. So four total. And let's just grab. I'll uh, get a phased portalite actually. Uh, I want this because like it'll help me get the bigger spells quicker. And I felt like that worked out better. But then that means this guy's sitting around for a while. They're both sitting around for a while. But that one, I already have my third breach open. So that is automatically three from now on. Three on one card. Like, I'll be grabbing the six and sevens, hopefully. Yeah, I'm going to do it. It's Hedger Betches. Gravehold, I'm sorry. You're going to take a few hits. Well, hopefully I can heal Gravehold with my uh, gem. That uh, heals Gravehold if it's less than 20. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Right. And then me. Yep. I will prep a spark. And I have four. I'm going to... Open, breach. Mm. I want to get the. You breaches. can spend two just to focus, and, and then, then two for a s charge, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. It's probably better spend, okay. I think. Two to focus, and then two for a charge, and then I'll put them like that. And then one, two, three, four, five. I can silence one of these minions if I go before them. Melvin. Yeah. Okay, so I'll do one damage. I guess we'll keep working on the same guy. Boom. Set five. Um, I will silence a minion. This one. So we don't have him evolve. Ah, yes. I like and it. And then I have... Ah, yes. I forgot one. all the silencing already. 
I don't have all my breaches <laughs> open yet, so I can't do that. Grave hold's not under 20, so that nothing happens on that except I get one ether. So one, two, three, four. I am going to. Uh, I'm going. Uh, I want that four. I'm gonna take this. Yep, I'm down. Okay, and then I'm gonna discard that, then that, then that. Oh, me again. New One, man. two, right. three, four, five. Sweet. Okay. Well, now I got five. So we're going to use three to open, breach three, yep. and two for a crystal. Charge, charge. Charge, not a crystal. And we'll keep those five like that. Fitzooth. So, um, I guess, yeah, I'll work on the same guy. Two more mm -hmm. down to three. Okay. Uh, Rune of Focus, Spark. And I feel like on the next turn I bought one, it would have went in, so I should have my money coming. While you're thinking of that, Mountain Job says, nothing better than relaxing with my pipe, watching gameplay of Aeon Zen. <laughs> love it. That's classy, my <laughs> that friend, is. right there. <laughs> That's classy. I love it. All right. Uh, and we should have some sort of relaxing music playing in the background. No, no. I don't want to fall asleep <laughs> while I play the game. No, I'm sure. <laughs> People can put on music in their own oh, background. Oh, yeah, that yeah, is yeah. true. Due to YouTube's copyrights, uh, I have only a certain selection of music I can play from to begin <laughs> that with. That is very true. Uh, okay, so three. This is tough. So I could get the silencing minion thing going. You could open your second yeah. pull out. Because yeah. you're going to be the spell guy, right? Yeah, but I don't... I, I, I could get Warping Haze to do two damage if you have two or other prep spells. Deal one additional. Uh, yeah, I think I'll buy... But I'd want to ignore the cheapest ones. And try to go up one level just for that whole, um, the, uh... Yeah, when you have to discard, or, uh... No... What I is it called? it's called? Oh, it's right here. Uh, degrading, degrading. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's not, not terrible, because if you use it for the silencing, that's great. And if there's nothing there, use it for two. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to see that first, Whoops. though? No, it has to go oh, it has first. To go first. Yeah. <laughs> what am I doing? All right. So, yeah, I'm doing a little different path here. Um, or, you know, I could start, or I because... could start destroying. Yeah, I, I, no, I like having the silence. I, I want to get that too, but uh, yeah. So I flip and draw. That actually might not be terrible because if we get rid of all of our cards with our names on them. But remember it says if you can't find one in the player's hands or discard piles, it wants you to go to the destroyed pile and stick them on there oh, too. So sweet. it'll get them no yeah, matter what. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> okay, they thought of everything. Elevator music. <laughs> yes, I, elevator music, exactly. Fitzooth. All right, so let's focus any player's breach. Do I have my hand here, this one, right? I'm going to focus two, my most expensive one. Mm-hmm. I gain an ether. Oh, we don't even have health. Oh, yeah, good call. Because we don't want to lose it, right? So <laughs> uh, then this spark. Uh, let's just hit our friend here. Oh, they're going back to back. That's annoying. Yep. Uh -huh. So I have one from the spell. This one gives me three... So that's four, five, six, seven. Whoa. Boom. Big boy already. Yep. Nice. Yep. Start healing grave hold up. Wow. I think that's the plan. Draw five. Okay. Nemesis back to back turn here. So this silence goes away. This one grave hold suffers one. Mm -hmm. Then any player discards a gem. Uh, if I discarded a gem, I have, five I have three. Total. Four. I can discard one. Can you? What do you have total if you discard well, that gem? Well, this would be three, four. This five, could be six. either five, six, or four. Six. Four or six, which is still enough. And that could be five or four. And I can silence also. Yeah, but I'd rather you have more. I'll get rid of this. I'll discard this. All right. Fine, whatever. Okay. And you did the Gravehold suffers one damage? Yep. Okay, and then that's then we go to here. Oh, 
Oh. Leash twice. He gains a nemesis token. Okay. And he's going to do his stupid thing. Gravehold suffers one damage for each oh for each player turn order card in the discard pile. So four more? Yeah. Down to 23. Oh, my Ugh. God. That's terrible. Okay, then end of the turn, he has two or more nemesis tokens. Yeah. So he fractures a crystal. Any player places a flawed sticker on one of the non-flawed crystals in their hand or discard pile. And then suffers two damage. Oh, I don't. Oh, my discard pile. I can take. I can take it. Yeah. So I take. Oh, well, you one do of that. These. And then you suffer two damage, which I'll do for you right there. Thank you. And then. Is there any? No sticker is able to be placed. He loses two tokens. And repeat until he has one or less nemesis token. So we're good. Dustin is saying, hey, just tuning in from Edmonton. Hey, nice. fellow Canadian. What's up? Always great to see Canadian streamers, especially when they play my favorite game of all time. <laughs> yes, I'm glad. Yes, Dustin. Awesome. Yes. Uh, so, sorry, I just cover this like this? Uh, cover oh, everything cover the, the crystal. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just the ability. Carl says, not able to stay for long. Just want to pop in and say thank you guys for all the awesome playthroughs. Helped me decide which games to go for. That is part of why we do this, is to help show off awesome games and... Yeah, either you decide whether they aren't your style or they are. Mm -hmm. I think it's sometimes better to watch a game you played rather than watch somebody's uh, opinion and review on it. But yeah, that's why I try to offer. Not everyone's doing reviews, but there was enough playthroughs on YouTube, and that's why we do this. That's and what, anyone can do that's a That's what review. started it. Yeah, that's what started it for yeah. us. Yeah, you want to do something awesome. different. That is awesome. Yes. Okay, so that was all three. Okay, and he did his thing, so we're doing Nemesis again. So Gravehold suffers two. Oh, we should have known that we're going to have to do that twice. Yep. Uh, so Gravehold's going to suffer two and then evolve. Uh, so 21, then 20. Okay, so this is the last evolve sticker that we're putting on. If we have to put another one, we'll have to read. And discarding a gem. I'll, I'll do it yeah, this time. Yeah, I don't time. have one this time. Well, I have a gem, but not. Yeah, I'll discard a gem. Okay. For this guy. Okay, so he has got his last evolve. Okay, and then Gravehold suffers yep, one did more. That already. Okay. And power three. Gravehold suffers three damage. The player with the most expensive spell in hand degrades that card. And we can't even stop that. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, uh, Ryan, is your plan to have Mal take all of the fractures? This means no spells at all in any games going forward. Are you sure you're okay with that? No, uh, not at all. No, we're not okay with that. Nope. But I will take some because I don't buy as many spells. And what my plan is is that I could use the fractured crystals to buy the bigger gems it, or, to then or, buy or, spells with those Or this gems. relic to or destroy that, yeah. those and then you just focus on your cheaper yeah. gems. But I will take more than him because I do buy less spells over the course than he does. Yeah, it'll be slow. Oh, uh, yeah, true. Yeah, so we'll see. Hmm. I don't know. No, my plan is not to do that, but it was just like that one seemed like it was a decent to yeah. start. Yeah, I just don't want you to take all... Uh, I'd rather take more than you, though. So the degrade, most expensive spell in hand degrades that card. But if you have no spells in hand, if you can cycle it. So worst it... case, degrading a zero uh, just means it's... it's just destroyed and you don't get something new. That's all, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Ryan and says. But it's going to yeah, be very, very slow. slow. Uh, I think so, yeah, but yeah. I think I don't buy spells until later, like like a yeah, couple we'll turns see. in anyways. Yeah, because like you're always one grabbing yet. the gems and doing that. Yeah. It's just like now you have to waste extra turns doing the geophage maybe or. Which, yeah, true, true, true. Okay. You get this. So we did all that. He doesn't have yep. anything. Let's shuffle this while we... Hopefully don't get Nemesis twice in a row now. I know. That's terrible. That would suck. That would suck. I know. You need to get your big spells going that you bought. Yep. We'll see. It might be a bit. Let's do this one more time to break them up. They are back to back. All right. Ready? Me. Mellowin. All right. Spark. Let's silence a and minion. You open your breach first, and then oh, you have four besides that one. Uh, yeah, if I did that. Yeah, because then you can open that. Then when you play that, I can uh, heal. You heal, and I think you oh, still have one. Oh, twenty or less. Yeah. Okay, so and let's do that. There. Okay, so let's use this. This is five. Yeah, but, but you still have a spare ether that yeah. also gets added to that yep. ether, which you can use to get a charge. So I'm using four of that to open. Yep. Okay. And now when you play that. Now when I play that, it'll give me one. So I now have two. If you have my three breaches open, I can heal one yep. going to nine. And then if Gravehold has 20 or less life, Gravehold gains a life. Oh. I'll, I'll use 21. the two, two um, ether that I have to buy a charge. Sweet. Putting me two away. And let's keep this like that. Yeah, that's fine. 
Nemesis. One, two, three, four. Okay, you hold Suffers 2 down to 19. Uh, this guy can't evolve anymore, so we're going to uh, read card E32. Oh, we didn't have. Uh, Ryan says, fair enough. I strongly suggest that you don't lose and have to do it again. No pressure. Actually, this one he says this we can't said play you him again. Can't, I don't think, but. Yeah. It says it there. Do not replay this chapter if you lose this game. Yeah. So. So one All shot. Right. Uh, ravenous Leviathan story. The Leviathan has been feeding from the breach, becoming smarter and quicker, growing in size and in hunger. Its body is sleeker now, allowing it to cut through the skies and slither rapidly towards its prey. Banish Ravenous Leviathan. Place card E33 into play with the same number of life. So it's going to get two life. And this guy. <laughs> Oh my god, he has nine health. He has persistent gravehold, suffers two damage. Any player discards a card in hand. Okay, so just added the discard so, yeah, card. He got worse. Okay. Uh, and then do not read any more cards in this deck until it's to do so. Okay. Yes, boss. Uh, Munchap has a question. If we played a game on stream that we really didn't like, would we say so? Or we just give pros and cons of that game? Um, I think I would say if it wasn't for me. Yeah, I usually play stuff before playing it on stream, though. That's the thing. Yeah, we uh, do. Except for, obviously, legacy stuff. Like, we're kind of in shock. Uh, but, yeah, like, it, it's tough. Like, if a company sent us a game, mm -hmm. usually I, I let the company know, like, I'm interested in your game. Or I've said no to companies that have offered us games before because I thought the game didn't look great. Or wouldn't or be up wouldn't our be alley, our theme, yeah. wouldn't be our thing, or wouldn't be something the fans of our channel would like be interested in at all. Mm -hmm. So I've said no, but I've also said yes to certain things that look like they're a maybe, and then I've played them, and like, yeah, they're good, usually. Like, I don't know. If something was really bad, I'm pretty vocal at, like, pointing out nitpicking on stuff, usually. Like, sometimes I'm a little negative on things. Uh, but I'll usually say things I don't like, but I won't spend hours and hours making content for things that are, like, I'm not having fun doing. Um... And, and I may look like I'm not having fun sometimes when I'm being challenged and things are really difficult because I'm really, like, into it. And sometimes I give off the vibe, like, maybe I'm frustrated and pissed off and stuff. But it's like I'm trying to beat the game. Like, I don't know. It's like I get really into it sometimes. But yeah. that doesn't mean I don't like the game, though. No, I think that means you like it more. Usually, yeah. Right? Cause, yeah. Because... I love challenge. I love, I love yeah. that rewarding feeling of beating something that's, like, beating me down. And it's, yeah. it's good, like... Yeah, one of my favorite game series is the Dark Souls, Demon Souls game series uh, for video games. And yeah, that's I love that. Yeah, I love that whole don't handhold me, let me figure it out. And then when I do, it feels very rewarding. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we would say. I don't think yeah. we would say we hate this game, but I think we would. Yeah. And then you probably wouldn't see us play it again. Yeah. Hint, hint, it's that. <laughs> yeah, you'd see me complaining during the whole playthrough, and then it would just like disappear off the channel, and I'd be like, never playing that again. But yeah. I, I don't know. There's like I'm usually picky and choosy, so mm -hmm. I usually do my research a lot before touching a game. Like I really look into it. I watch other playthroughs, reviews, read about it, read rule books. Uh, even for games that are in prototype, there's Kickstarter games that like I want to see your rule book first before I think of even doing your game on my channel and that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. um, and we play it. I like, can see you being frustrated because you want to solve the problems that are coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then, I do it. I and do then it. He gets mad at me. Yeah, and if yeah, I yeah. get in there. No, no. <laughs> if I'm not no. doing, because we're both very like alpha gamers, where we both yes. really think our way is right. Yep. Um. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going red here. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Mutton chop. You brought up a sore subject. Man. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but we're yeah, gonna so. need to step away for a sec, guys. Be right back while we, <laughs> we deal with this mar mar marital issue. No, I'm just no, that's okay. Uh, we know we we might argue a little bit. But yeah, yeah. We know, whatever. We but yes, we would we say I think I think if we didn't like it. True. Uh, okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah. so that guy evolved. The next guy, Gravehold suffers the damage. It's down to 18. Yep. Uh, any player discards a gem. Oh, yeah, I got all gems. So, I mean... But you're at what, five? Five. What do you want to do with that five? Sell me on it. I, I'm going each smaller and smaller. Here. I have no, a, no, no. I have four right now, Ether. But I could silence a minion and no, only no. have two. I'll go, I'll go four and I'll buy that. Okay. So, I'll discard one. Okay. With my four. Because yeah. I have uh, my three right, open. So, so, this one loses one. Yeah. And then draws a card. Oh. oh no, it's our buddy with the, Hate this guy. the shield. Three shields, spine harvester, one health. And if this is chapter five or higher, evolve. Oh, immediately. 
Oh. I'll immediately evolve E16. Mutton Chop says, sorry, I'll shut up, LOL. No, 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 it's <laughs> no, totally no, it's fine. All good. It's totally fine. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, I try not to get in that situation where I'm spending my time with a game I don't have fun playing. I try to avoid that. Yeah. At some point in the future, maybe I'll be playing games that like, all right, this is my first play. I'll be honest, like, hey, this is my first time playing. And I usually give my thoughts as I'm playing or like at the end of the game, I try to give like a, this is cool, that was cool. Mm -hmm. Even if certain aspects of the game are annoying, sometimes I can overlook that if the overall experience was fun. Because not every mechanic in every game can be done perfect. And typos in games and like bad rules, written rules and bad examples in books or no examples, that stuff ticks me off. But it doesn't mean the game's bad. It's just sometimes the game may play, I'll be frustrated with it. But then I find out after it's because like, you know, there's some correction online or something that it needs to be played this way instead. And that's why yeah. it's annoying. All right. Death does not stop the spine harvester. It has only filled it with a need for vengeance. Its time in the dark has strengthened it, sharpening its bones and increasing its bloodlust. Banish Spine Harvester. Okay. Uh, place card E17 into play with the same number of life and shield tokens it had on it. Spine Whoa. Thresher. Persistent. Unleash. Any player suffers the damage and then evolves. Oh my god. Uh, that's cool. Art. It's going to do something again after it evolves. Whoa. So eventually it'll get four shield tokens on it. Jeez. Uh, do not resolve its persistent effect this turn. Oh, okay. okay, no problem. No, no problem. problem there. Whoa. That's a lot of minions going on here. Yes. You're good? I think so. It's you. Fitzooth. Ping a shield. This guy's terrible. We don't want to keep Unleash unleashing and that players. happening. Yes. Okay. So hit him for one. Okay. <laughs> like, I'll ping a shield too. Yeah, man. All right. Yeah, this needs to be... I should have bought this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With all the that. ding, ding, ding. I should have bought that over this. Uh, yeah. Lessons learned. Okay. Uh, so big bad spark in there. <laughs> um, man, I want to silence him instead. Go ahead. But then I'm not putting good spells in my deck. Do I have a silence? How many times is he going? Once. Just once? Oh, yeah, I don't have a silence yet. But, like, will we be, like, even if two of us go again, like, we only have enough to get rid of the shields on him. I know. And I have nothing in my hand. So The only way is to getting this, because, look, even when you prep it, you deal damage. Yeah. Ah, that was a huge misplay on my yeah. part. Huge misplay. So why don't you hold? I haven't even seen the other one yet. What are you going to draw if you held those? Held oh, what? no, because even if you did, Yeah, it's all spells. Oh, okay. All spells all day are coming. Okay, so it doesn't matter. And then it'll I mean, be you could... my, my three, uh, four ether I'll have on the next turn. But for each but one of those, I... Held... Yeah, if I just hold the one. The one, yeah, then you would draw But then four. remember, this is making us discard gems, so then we're in the, like... Yeah, but I got gems I can discard for you. So uh, you can get that, because that'll be helpful for us. Very much so. But it's up to you. Yeah. I mean, I can try to buy one. I only have five ether. Like, even if I did hold. Even if you did hold. Because this only gives me three. Three, four, five. That's it. No, but then you hold this with that. Hold on. Then this. No, but then it's the next turn. So you have to hold that and that again. No, no. I'm not waiting that long. Okay. What I'm going to do, I am going to hold it. Okay. I'll hold this one. I'll spend two. And this two. Oops. This two will just get me a charge. Yep. Whatever. Oh, no. It will focus. Focus, focus, oh. focus. That's what we'll do. And that'll go away. I'll hold this one. Flip. And then I'll draw that. Because, see, that gives me an ether. Oh, it doesn't give it to me right away That's what I'm saying. It's the next turn. <sighs> oh. That's fine, I think. Just hold that and the other one. And then you'll have all those other crystals that were behind it. And then you'll have enough. Yeah... I want to hold that long. I know. No, I will. Uh, let's silence uh, this guy. Okay. Yeah. So this should be. I'll well, put, you could put it anywhere in that. Yeah. So sorry. I'll put it there. Yeah. I'm not gonna hold it. Silence those that way. Flip over. Start drawing. Okay. And then I'll hold the next time. I think. Or if you can afford, I don't know. Well, right is, now I can't, but... Yeah, I totally goofed up. I so should have bought that and let one ether just flop. It's all good. Oh, this? my God. Yeah. Okay, Gravehold suffers two. Down to 16. Any player discards a card in hand. Uh, okay. You want me to do it? 
I don't want you to get rid of any of your spells, even the ones we need them. If I pitch this, I have three left. But then again, a player's got to discard a gem in a second, too. So Okay, well, you do one. I'll do one then, I sure. guess. Sure. Crystal. Uh, then this guy, Gravehold, suffers the damage. And I'll discard gem. a gem. This goes away. This goes away. Okay. Draw a card. No, draw a card. Oh, shoot. Sorry. Gravehold suffers two. Oh, my God. Whoa. Gravehold's uh, what's going to lose us this one. The player with the most crystals in hand places a flawed sticker on a non-flawed crystal in their hand or discard pile. All right, well, I think that's, that's you. me. That's you, yeah. I only have one. I have zero crystals, actually. And you can do in your discard pile. Yeah, I'll do it in my discard pile. Uh, yeah. Three. Yeah. Okay. Fitzooth. Uh, can you shield? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Shield gone. So annoying. Uh, okay, let's see here. What can I do? Yeah, but even holding is dumb. Like, I need to open to get all these in. Yeah, then just... So, yeah, I'll just spend uh, three. Uh, well, I'll make three, but I'll just use it to open this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely messed up here. Uh, yeah, whatever. Three, four, five. Okay. Me. That'll win. So I will get rid of the last shield. Yep. Three. Just need one of us to go before and we can kill that guy. Mm -hmm. Three damage spell is not really good. I think I'll take the silence a minion card. Okay. Because it's not good for me. And then I'll get, hopefully, it. One, two, sorry. Three, four, five. I need to get um, one enough to yeah, like this to get the bigger. Oh, can't be used by a spell. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's already Three, affecting us. Four, oh, five, no. six, seven. No, but this is seven without this. So, but I might need to silence a minion instead. So we'll see. Million. Oh me. Okay. Spells. So. Okay, so if I silence a minion, I would then have three, four, five. That I could use towards a spell, one that I cannot. Five. Yeah. Okay. So then let's silence a minion. Um, we don't know who's going next. Yeah. But he can unleash. He unleashes any player suffers the damage that involves. Maybe that's not the worst. That's not terrible. Maybe let's go one. here. You're gonna go next and get rid of both of those. I know it. But well, that's fine. Well, then you should put it on one that may stick around. Yeah. Okay. So that's that one. Uh, but then again, I'm doing five. Oh, yeah, you'd probably do it on the bigger one, right? But he's not gone. This one would be gone with your ping. Yep. And then maybe I just use it on this one, the five. It's overkill, but I'll, I would do it to this one. Okay, okay. So then let's do... Okay, so that's that done. This is three, four, five that I can use towards a spell, so we'll buy the bending beam. Oh, not two. Um, I have one I cannot do anything with. Let's just... Oh, you could for six have bought this though, right? A relic? Yeah, don't buy the spell. Buy the relic that lets me draw extra cards. So then. I think. I yeah, think that's because then a good that call. is three, four, five, six. Yeah, I can do yeah. that. Because it's not, yeah. But may help us get over this whole discarding cards and yep. degrading. Like, might get us yeah, some better turns. That. Yes, you're next. One, okay, two, sweet. Three, four, five. So I'll do the spark. Actually, let's do it in this order. So this one takes out this guy. Yep. Gravehold will heal one. Yes. Then a spark to kill that guy. Yes. And then focus any player's breach. Focus my most expensive one here. And I'll gain an ether. Okay. And then that leaves me with two, three, four, five, six ether possibly. Yeah. Yeah, because he's already silenced. So yeah, yes. I know, I know. That's perfect. Uh, so spark in there. And then I'll get the py pyrogeist. Yes. And we'll throw these in this order and draw two, three, four, five. Okay, next. You again. Okay. <laughs> uh, sure, one damage to this guy, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Um, so, uh, three, four, five, six. 
You can buy another. Oh. Yeah, because third breach open, that's three, mm -hmm. four, five, six. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'll get the ally, draws two cards, one. And then, boom. Nemesis. Because what I'm thinking is if I have to destroy that more expensive one and I can grab that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm okay with that to destroy gems out of hand also. That is true. So this is going to go away. This is going to go away. Uh, Gravehold suffers three damage. Down and the player 11. with the most expensive spell in hand degrades it. Well, I have a spell. Oh. No. Oh. 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 So what guys. So this gets destroyed. Oh, my God. And then I can pick way. another spell of cheaper. So uh, just take the five. Yeah, but... Ah, focus, focus your last, last breach, breach so you can double trouble. I know. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Just take the five. It does yeah. five damage. Yeah, yeah. It goes into hand. Right? Degrading. Uh, it's on Let's the last check. page. When Nemesis card forces the player to degrade a card, that player must destroy a card that costs two ether or more. Then that player... Well, that one said specifically yeah. that card. Uh, then that player may gain a card of the same type from any supply pile which costs less than the cost of the destroyed card. Oh, it doesn't have to be the type? Or did I misread that? No, I don't then think so. Then that player may gain a card of the yeah, same type. Oh, okay. From any supply pile which costs less than the card than the destroyed card and place it into their hand. If the player cannot degrade a card, that player suffers two damage. Oh, so that's terrible. Okay. Uh, I didn't so want a Benny meme. I want this Pyro guy specifically. I know. And then I chose not to buy another one, so I could buy that, and then I lose it. I know. But now there's uh, not all those minions on the board here like there was last serenity night. Serenity now. Oh, look at this guy. Woo! Fancy. S Smoke Guardian. Immediately read Evolve Deck card E57. And he's going to get 11. I'll do that while you're doing that. E57 front. A glowing figure emerges from the dense fog surrounding your battle. Its sharp edges and razor teeth are eerily illuminated by its innate aura, turning into a nightmarish vision. Place this card next to Smoke Guardian. When Smoke Guardian is discarded, read the back of this card. Do not read any more cards in this deck until instructed to do so. Okay. Sweet. Okay. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was the card that came off the deck. Oh, Nemesis again. Gravel suffers one damage, and any player discards a gem. What do I got for gems here? I can get rid of... I only have the Silence of Minion one. No, no, no. I <laughs> will get rid of... I'm just debating. Get rid of a stinking so I'm gonna, crystal. I'm going to use that for that. So one... I know, I'm just debating if I'm buying a spell or not. So let's just get rid of that one. Yeah, let's get rid of the one that, that is restricted. Yeah. Okay, so that was that one. This one. Uh, any player degrades a card in hand. Ooh. Gravehold suffers one damage. So I'll do the damage and we'll look at our hand So the here. only one I can do is this one. Which means two or more. Oh two my or god, more. this is awful. Oh, I'll do this one. Oh yes. Oh, but then again, Gravehold suffering damage. Is Gravehold. Well, I'm gonna light? I'm gonna give Gravehold one every time oh, okay. this comes up. Uh, comes okay. Comes in nine. Yeah, I know. But do that, and you'll get that one, that, and it goes in your hand. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I'll get the Pyrogeist. Oh my god. Serenity now, Serenity now, Kay. Serenity now. Okay, and then Gravehold suffers one damage. I did that already. You did that already? Okay. Uh, po uh, poison attack. Any player places a flawed crystal on a non-flawed crystal card in their hand or discard pile. A different player degrades a card in hand and suffers two damage. Okay. So, let me degrade... Oh. You no, know, I can degrade Bending Beam. Are you sure? Yep. And I'll just take... Degrade is out of the game? Yeah, let's just destroy it. Oh my I know, God. it's super annoying. I'm going to lose all these good cards. And I'll just take a Force Transfusion. Okay, so then, then I have to. Any player places a flawed crystal on a non-flawed crystal card in their hand or discard pile. Oh, I didn't suffer my two damage. Place a flawed sticker. All right, so I think it has to be that one because I think all the other ones have them. Oh, no. Okay, let's do that one. I'm going to get them all even, though. Well, it's because we're choosing, though. I could have chose to do it. No, but I don't want to get rid of that Focus a Minion, or Silence a Minion. Oh, that's the only one you can do. That's the only one I have. And then you just lose it, and you don't even get a yeah, replacement. Yeah, because that's all I have in my hands. Yeah, we're thinking more about the now, and it's going to hurt us later in the future, though. Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, and then you suffered the two damage as well for that? Yep, yep. Okay. So that's that. Me. Ah. Uh, Kevin played his first solo game of Spirit Island. <laughs> <laughs> and got his ass handed to him. 
Whoa. Yep, understood. <laughs> yep, understood. That game takes There's a bit. There's a learning to... curve. Yes, there is a learning curve to that game for sure. But keep at it. it trust me. It feels so good when you win that game. <laughs> Hatred for this minion is showing up well in our faces on the stream, LOL. You That's it. Tell? Turn off the webcam. They're onto us. <laughs> they know we... Okay, oh, let me tell terrible. you about games I hate playing on stream. This is now one of them. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Throwing it in the trash. Okay. So, I'm going to silence the minion. Yes. Because this guy's annoying. Um, I'm going to place a spark. That does one. Gravehold will gain one. Yes. I will gain one going back to full. Up to ten. It says one, two. I will gain a charge for two. It's funny we haven't even touched the oh the, the boss man yet. We, Hope we can even... deck this guy because I don't know. That's got to come first, I think. One, two, three. I feel like we're getting smacked around one, by this guy. Yeah, I feel that way too. I think it's meant to do that though. Oh, man. You haven't even got your card that comes up that says suffer two damage yet. Or three damage. Yeah, and we're in the twos now. So but it's... I only need one more charge, one more of these. Um, I only need one I'm more charge. I'm not worried about our health. I'm worried about the grave hold. I know. Me. Okay. So let's do one damage. This guy's worse, right? I don't or know. Or they're both bad. Just take get one, one off the board. like For one. Not like I'm doing much, but... Yeah, but still. Okay, uh, you may draw two cards. Sweet. I will... Crystals, okay. all right. Five. Okay, so I have five, or I can silence the other minion, which I feel like my job now should just yep. be silencing the minion. Unless... And then I gain two charge, or I gain a charge, and I'm full, and we just let it sit there. Yeah, that's your call. Right. Or like, for the three, get this to start destroying. Um, or, yeah, yeah. To see your better okay. uh, gems together. Yeah, maybe. and see more of these faster. Or get another one of these. Yeah. I would start this. this? I would start just okay. cl cleaning your deck, okay. making it nice and sing. So, silence. Like, uh, singing, yeah, uh, and then let's get a geophage to get rid of the crystals that have my bad news on them. Uh, and I want it to go like that, that, that. You. One, two, three. Uh, one damage to... I'm going to actually do it to this guy. Yep. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Fun times! <laughs> well, I know I'm not buying a spell times. with that one. <laughs> uh, okay, so I am going to spend four and open my yes. double trouble breach. So, all right. Oh, you got all spells in there. Nice. So, I will prep Pyrogeist. Which will do, oh yeah, let's see here. One damage to this guy Okay. when I prep it. Mm -hmm. Then I'll throw a force transfusion in the same breach. And let's just throw these here like so. That is all. Did you buy something with those? Uh, no, just open this. Oh, right. I was going to say I told you. Draw one, that. two, three, four, five. Okay. You again. Oh, hello. Yes. All right, so let's see here. Of course, there's no shield guys now that I have this little fun time. Uh, so I'm going to cast this. It'll deal plus one on each of these. So mm -hmm. I will deal... Oh, uh, maybe i do this in a weird way. If this does four total, that can take care of him. So, yeah, let's just do all the instances on this guy. So it's a total of five damage. Nice. On this guy. Okay. And I'll do this one for four on that guy. I don't have three more charges, so I don't gain one. Um, I'll focus your last breach there. I gain an ether on the turn, which is good. Uh, Can you do one more or no? No, I'll leave that one there, actually. Okay. Uh, just in case a shield guy drops out. Then yeah. I have, if I don't see other spells for a while. Uh, then I will throw a spark in here. Uh, you can draw two cards. My third breach is open, so I have one ether off of Rune of Focus. So that's four, five, six. <laughs> Try again? Yeah. <laughs> Try again. All right. Draw. Go ahead. Nemesis. So this is going to go away. Yep. Draw a card. 
Uh, we got the Humming Hive. We've seen this guy. He's from the basic deck. Two shields. There you go. There you go. So I can pop them off if I go. Uh, then any player is persistence. Any player suffers two damage and evolve. I think they've gone. Oh, no. No, once. only once. So it's me or the nemesis. And, and it's nemesis. nemesis. So oh. any player degrades a card in hand, Gravehold suffers one. Oh, man. Yeah, maybe I should have yeah. really focused on getting that guy off the board. So when they're covered in silence, I'm like, yeah, they're fine, but... Can I? And I... Oh, degrades a card. It has to be two or more. So right? I could just get rid of my silence a minion. Two no, money. I could do this one and then take a silence yeah. a minion. Okay. And it goes into my hand, right? Yep. So then that'll happen now, which cool. is great. Uh, so that was that one. And, and Grave Hole suffers, suffers one. one. Ugh. Uh, any player suffers two, I will take it. Okay. And then Evolve, it needs a sticker eight. on it. Okay, I'll do that if you want to get the next card. Uh, Rune Prisoner. Seven health. When a player deals damage to this minion, that player degrades a card in hand. Oh my god, you have to do one shot. That is awful. No, I'll say, yeah. Unless he's silenced. When, deals damage. when he's uh, silenced, stop that kind of stuff? Or does it only no, stop the there. persistent? Because yeah, his just... Gravehold suffers three damage on that guy. Yeah. Well... So three turns of him going, and great, we're done. Yeah. Well, that's not going to happen. I'm going to silence him. If they're all bad. I want to silence all of them. Oh, it just blocks a persistent. Yeah. Yeah. It's eh. terrible. Okay. And then me. Which is still an amazing persistent to stop, I think. Oh, I have two. Sweet. Okay, well, let's silence two minions. This one, for sure. And I think we have to do... Degrading. Degrading, yeah. yeah uh, we can take damage. <laughs> okay, so that's both of those done. Uh, that's one. Gravehold will gain one. I will gain one. Going to nine. Uh, so it's one. So five total, but three of it can't be used on a spell. Yeah, so I'm going to do... I'm going to do these two for a charge and these three for the Geophage. Oh, do I already have a Geophage? You do, I do, but... but then I'll take another Silencing a Minion. I'd rather see them more, I think. So that's going to go first. At some point you need to destroy the Minions, though. That Silence him only works so I know. far. But maybe but then spells. if I But if I see them and they're already silenced, then it just does two. And then I can use those to buy. True, but um, still they sit around longer on the board. And eventually Nemesis will go a couple times in a row. And the Silencing doesn't do anything for that situation. That's true. Remember, we lose if this guy's like around for three Nemesis cards. True. Okay. You. So let's do three damage here. Three? Uh, two, sorry, two. Two, two, two. Two? Yep. So one, two. Two. Are you pinging a shield or? I don't know. Uh, suffering two damage is not really what I'm no. worried about right yeah, now. Yeah, that's not bad. So do this guy. Uh, let me just check what's in my hand. Just a spark. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, just him. So for five, let's get a bending beam going. Or do I start destroying gems in here now? No, let's do that. A one, two, three, four, five. Nemesis. So that goes away. Uh, and sorry. You had nine. Uh, I'll take the damage. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, oops, that, that goes to two. Yeah. Okay, and then at some point I'm gonna lose. Oh, three. so we're gonna have to evolve it. If we can't place a sticker, we have to read read E fifty eight. Oh no! Remove this. It's probably gonna be bad. Uh, e fifty eight. Holy, it's deep in the deck. Uh, humming Hive story. Uh, as the Hive's defenders repeatedly strike and absorb your blood, they change before your eyes, mutating into larger, faster drones that crave another taste for your blood. Banish Human hi Humming Hive, place card E59 into play with the same number of life and shield tokens on it that Humming Hive had before transforming. Write the name of the player who last suffered damage from Humming Hive That's me. on card E59. Do not resolve this minion's persistent effect. So it's Humming Drones! Mm. The minion 
can have any number of shield tokens. This minion can have any number of shield tokens. So it starts with two, nine health. Persistent, this minion gains one shield token. Then Mellowin suffers damage equal to the number of shield tokens oh, this minion has. this is so funny. <laughs> it's so personal. I love it. <laughs> I know, and I wish we know this mm. going forward, like or knew it. So That's why like, I see people say they play through this a bunch of times, and man, it's like knowing what it does to you is like you can. Yeah, it changes things. Yeah, it's like, but if you're playing solo, I guess I don't know. But I think you have to play with at least two mages when you play this game. I think. Okay, so that was that. This goes off. Then nothing happens there. And then oh, this guy already has two evolve stickers on it. So to discard, we have to spend seven power two unleashed wave. Gravehold suffers four damage. Then if Gravehold does thirteen or more, it does not. So we won't have to worry about evolving. And I don't think I can get it up that high. Okay, God, me. Silence a minion. Who is our worst minion here? Gravehold only has ten. So this one, yeah, yeah suffers three damage. three damage. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you. Oh, may... we forgot this. When I was dealing him damage. Oh. Uh, degrading a card in hand. Right? It was me, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. What did I do? I started at seven. Oh, see, that's a problem. No, we didn't have to do that. I had a thing on it. No, but remember, silence only blocks the persistent. Oh. The problem is it's like this, so I don't I don't think Sorry. of it, Sorry, right? so that's my fault. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I probably was dumb, and I hit it with two different sparks, like... I wouldn't have done that. Okay, for so sure. put that back. No, no, I'm gonna put five on it. I just put it all back. But I would still have to hit them multiple separate times. That's the problem. I Kevin don't says, have like yeah, a, you got two degrades. Yeah, so what I would do one on him, I would ping like this guy for one down to four. I wouldn't have hit him two weak shots, but I'll take the one uh, degrade. Uh, let's just get rid of force transfusion. I'll take a warped haze. I see. Okay. Yeah, that's the problem. Hitting this guy, like, like these stupid pyro guys suck against this guy. Like, you need, like, bigger damage, right? Yeah. Oh, that's rough. This is this is one that's a mess. Okay, so that, I silenced him. You may draw two cards. Oh, sweet. Uh, I may discard a gem in my hand. Destroy, destroy. Destroy, sorry. And remember you have and one. And I have one, but I, that's all I have. And then play a spark down. And let's keep them like that. That sounds good. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, she called one, one shot, shot it, but yeah, like yeah, but then I think we totally forgot. Uh, no, but I still don't have like any way to one shot it. That's the problem. Like I could kill it in one turn, but I'm still firing off multiple spells. Like you need like I don't like even this deal five and a plus one on the cast. It's still I still only two six. hits on this guy, so it's like. Yeah, it sucks on like this one, Pyrogeist, if I want to hit him for one, then hit him for one, and then yeah, two, it's like, that's not... I'm going to be degrading like my whole hand, and if I don't, I'm suffering damage, so your yeah. heal is going to come into place. So. Yeah, well, I have this sitting here waiting, so... Spending seven. Yeah. Unleash twice, Gravehold suffers four. I think oh, I can do God. that. Two, three, four, five, oh, that's six, not enough. Well, okay. I'll help you draw in a second if I go first, which yep. I do. Nice. All right, so let's do two damage. I mean, at this point, just get rid of this guy, right? Yeah, but I'm still only doing two. Cause, sure. Because at least it's not going to just get the shields gone. We'll have to spark the shields away. Well, this is spark. Okay, uh, you draw two cards. Yes. So I'll put down a Pyrogeist, which will deal damage to this guy. I'll put down another Pyrogeist. We'll kill this guy. Yes. But then we gotta re read something in a second. Yeah. So. Well, I'll just hold it. Uh, read the back of the card. As smoke dissipates, you find and dis a discarded dirty object, giving off a familiar burn of energy. You scrape off the ground to find a precious gem hidden beneath it. The player who discarded Smoke Guardian gains a gem from the most expensive gem pile and places it into their hand. Yeah. Return this card to the evolved deck. So it was good the way okay. I didn't. I was debating on blowing my whole hand first. If it was something bad. But that's kind of good. So that gives me three ether on this turn. That's good. All right. Now let's go. Warping Haze. Hmm. Which could be a four. Yeah, let's just adjust this here. Because I want to just fire that one up first. Mm -hmm. We'll do that one there instead. Mm hmm uh okay so then three four 
five, six, seven. Brave hold. Yeah. Most likely this is just going to be degraded in my hand. Well, well, hopefully not. But we need to. One, two, three, four, five. Go. And Bernardo's here. Hey, Bernardo. How's it going? Uh, he says, greetings from Miranda running away from the Reavers. Uh, I'm, I, I am a leaf on the wind. Oh. <laughs> How are you liking Aeon's and Legacy? We're loving it. Loving a little it. frustrated with this uh, nemesis right now. Yeah. He's smacking us. He's messing uh, with our plans. All around. He's just making us feel very distraught. I feel like, like we're surviving just on the edge here. I don't know, man. Like, That's that what I mean. Like we're just, Oh, like, I see. But we haven't even hit him yet. I know. But maybe, yeah, I don't know. It's like, it's distracting us with Gravehold, and then, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. All right, go ahead. It's me. All right. So I'll ping a shield for one. Okay. Shield gone. And you let me draw a whole bunch of cards. So yeah, now, so in order to do this, to I have this? to, yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, but let's, yeah, I'll just spend them all. So I'll spend all, right. all eight. Got it. And I want to do it in, yeah, that's fine. Nemesis. Oh. All right. Uh, this minion can have any number of shield tokens. Five. Persistent. This minion gains one shield token. Okay. <laughs> and he's going to hit me for uh, two. <laughs> and then this minion, uh, sorry, Mellowin suffers a damage equal to the number of shield tokens it has so as two. two. Yep. Okay. This goes away. Oh. When a oh, that's that. Nope. Okay. Yep, that I goes away. Oh, we got the larva back for 10. Unleash and evolve is his. Persistent. Persistent. All right, shuffle up the turn order deck, and let's see what we get here. Oh, man. Wow. Minion City here. Yeah, and if we ignored the minions for, like, even a turn, like, Gravehold would be dead. I know. I need to, we need to, like, silence this one again, because three damage... We can't heal Gravehold fast enough. Well, I'll just kill him and do the degrading card thing. In worst case, I'm taking... Uh, I'll, ha I'll do it in two hits, but uh, I will uh, suffer uh, two degrades. Um, but that will that will do a Bending Beam, which I'll replace for, like, a Force Transfusion. And then uh, the other one I can't do, so I'll have to take two damage. Well, oh, I guess I would do the Force Transfusion. Then I would do the Warping, down to the Warping oh, yeah, So yeah, I think yeah. we're good. Yeah, yeah, I think we're good. Look at this. <laughs> Shut up, you minions! <laughs> Fitzy. Okay, so nice. uh, so yeah, let's do that. Uh, so Warping Haze uh, does two, three, four, because I have more than the two other prep spells. So, so that's four. four to him. So he has one I got left. a degrade, so we'll destroy a bending beam. I'll turn it into a force transfusion. Okay. Uh, then I'll cast Pyrogeist from here. Yep. Which I'll do the single damage here okay. off the first part. That will make me degrade mm -hmm. this. Oops. Degrade that into my hand. The other instance of yep. two damage uh, is going to go. Do it here and then. We should not. So no, this needs to stop. So shield token. Okay. Yeah, because you're going to ping the other one. You can do the same kind of idea. Mm, yeah. Okay. That one's fired off. Uh, when you prep this... Uh, oh, sorry. Deal another one to the shield. It's actually two. Mm -hmm. And then for three, let's do three to him. So we'll hook this one to four and take away the other die. Okay, that one's gone. Okay. And then Rune of Focus. I'll focus this breach Thanks. on you. I gain an ether. So I have two, three ether total. Uh, then let's do this, this, and this. And for three, I'm gonna grab a geophage, throw it with some crystals, and draw four, five. And then it's gonna be you all over again. Okay, well not as good as last time. That's but, okay. Uh, so this one, Warping Haze, because I have two other prep spells, plus which gives me one plus the damage there, is enough to get rid of this guy. Nice. So he is gone. And then we'll and then do... three damage? Uh, yeah, two, then three. Yep. 
I know, oh, there's one spell coming if I can. And then hmm, I could have five or I could have three and silence a minion, I think. Well, hopefully I go next and I can silence him. No, but you can if spend If not, your money. I have six, uh, seven, I eight. will silence him if you can. Actually, so I'll silence him. Um, and three will just get me another warping haze. Mm -hmm. Or I just start destroying gems that I don't care. Yep. Uh, let's put these in with it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. It's me. All right. So two, four, six. I would like to buy one of these, Arrow please. Guys? Yes. Um, that will do one. Uh, so I want to do a heal and start getting charges again, or I'm about to lose three right when that other two card comes up. So just FYI, and then you're already down to like one die of five. Yeah, but I'm gonna heal myself right now, so I'll go to six. Okay, you're called. But, but if just I keep heal in mind, you, I'm about to be at five, so yeah. So if I heal you, you you could go to full. Not right now. Don't heal me, because it's a waste of three life. Well, it's a waste of one. You gain one off that. This I, is I no can't. this because you're gonna gain three, but you can't hold three. I know. You I only two, but two. I'm saying so, if I do so it now, then I can use these two to buy another crystal and start that whole party again. Yeah, but you would use it on yourself. Oh, I see. But and I'm. And then you start going up to get to my next. Oh, three okay. Off okay. Sure. Sure. I, I don't see what know. you're saying. Just yeah. A thought. Just I see a what thought. you're saying. Three. Okay. Then I will do that. Gravehold will gain one. Four. I will gain one. More. Find the die, and then I'll use those two to buy another charge. So then I can do that again. Yeah, and let's put it. that first, and then like that. Two, three, four, five. Nemesis. Where is that going? Oh. Right there. <laughs> uh, silence token gone. <laughs> and Don't more nemesis. So attempting offer uh, to discard it. You evolve. Oh, is that one oh throw yeah. Away? Or power two is unleashed twice. The player with the lowest life suffers three damage. Okay, well, let's wait on it and think about it. That's what I'm saying. Your ability, if we can charge up your ability faster, then it's great, but... Nemesis, Nemesis again. again. So, so unleash. unleash and evolve. We can still put one more. So and we then this one just loses a power thing. Yeah. And then we'll draw. Unleash. Fitsu suffers three damage. There it is. Felt it was coming. Well, Down I felt like five. we'd gone through a lot of the twos. Yeah. So we'll start seeing threes soon. Okay. Uh, and then I think it's me. Yep. All right. Uh, you may draw two cards. Sweet. Let's put that in there. Double pyro, guys. Nice draw. Let's. Wife and kids say hi. Hey, hello, guys. Hello. How's it going? <laughs> hello, Gonzalez family. <laughs> <laughs> I know you told us a while ago what your kid's name was, called, I but know, I can't I'm remember. So bad I'm so names. sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's silence a minion. Let's do that. Um, let's use that to get rid of a crystal. Boom. Destroy, Destroy it. gem in hand. And that does one, Destroy. but one is nothing. So that's fine. And let's keep them like that. Yeah. Mm. I feel like we're getting into the threes soon. You know, and that's when, like, Gravehold suffer six. Boom. Doesn't it feel like the deck is still so big? Yeah, but it's like the last ten cards are level. Yeah, it's exactly ten. So the next card is, it's three of his, and in the normal game, it's three nemesis, and then seven tier threes are shuffled together to make the final ten of the deck, usually. Jeez. Pretty sure in every player count, it's that way. Sweet. Okay, ready? Nemesis. Oh, you. Fitzu, Thurai. Uh, so I will... Deal five damage to this guy, yes. and Gravehold will heal one. We're getting there. Oh, it's six damage, actually, because it was from my last Oh, yeah, then if I go breach. next, I can ping him. Yeah, it's from this breach, right? Yeah. Six. All right. Do we want to choose to evolve it? Oh, you have to do your thing first if you want. You draw two extra cards. Oh, I have to get a deck. 
So I will Yeah, let's play a pyrogeist here, deal one damage to this guy, he's gone. We'll put a warping haze in that same breach. My double trouble breach. We'll throw a pyrogeist here, sure. And then six, seven. Uh, let's it's, it's smart because even if you do have to agree, you can take any yeah, card you want. I like that's why I wanted I said a good strategy was here is take the most expensive of of a pile and then you just like work your way yeah. down. You don't have to take damage that way. Uh, okay, draw. Did you want to evolve this to get rid of it, or do you think it's... Mm, nope. It's fine. Because I think with your you'll, ability... You'll have to suffer three, though. Yeah, so that's why we need to get your charges okay. ASAP. Okay. I have a handful... Oh, it's you again. I have a handful of uh, gems. Yeah, like, so. really, we need to focus on your ability. Because yeah. if we can't Two. degrade cards, we have to also take damage. Yeah, I can get three charges with what I have in my hand. Okay. Uh, so my turn again? Yep. Uh, sounds like it's boss time. Oh, yes, finally. <laughs> <laughs> uh... So let's do... Oh, you could have pinged the boss with that one when you prepped it. Ah, uh, yes. So... Yes, yes, sorry. Yeah, because uh, I... yeah, there's only that one guy left. Yeah. Uh, four damage. Whoops, wrong side. 70. Four damage. Uh, then this will total uh, five. Eight more. Eight more. All right. Only 62. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. okay. Awesome Runa Focus, Spark, whoops. <laughs> Don't forget my Cool Breach. <laughs> forget about my Cool Breach. Uh, Geophage, I'll destroy a Crystal in hand. So I only have two. I'll buy a charge. And one, two, three, four, five. It's me. <sighs> do I leave that there for shield possibilities or do I just chuck it for the boss i don't know i feel like leave it so you see your other good cards in yeah. your deck you too right it's okay like... let's do that and that'll ping one to the boss my uh yep, yep. pyro geist okay uh grave hold will gain one and i will gain one to full yeah so that's one 13. two three four five six but i will just a gain a few of it can't be used to get spells right i will just gain yeah, three, yeah. three gain charges. charges one two three so i'm two away Okay, from perfect. getting you to full. So perfect, let's perfect. leave them like that, yeah. Me again. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, let's three. fire this off, yeah. For three. For three. More. Uh, two. Well, oh, yeah. Three. Yeah, three total. Yeah. Uh, so we're going down to 58. Okay. Let's let you draw two cards. Yeah. Let's do one charge for two. One charge for two. I will fire off my yep. ability, let you heal three. Three health, sweet deal. Okay. Uh, I will do, oh, let me get three. I think I just want to get one more spell going, I think. Yeah. Because I can yeah, use yeah, these yeah. for spells. So, oh my God. Yeah, so let's Working do, hands, yeah, yeah, let's get that. Yeah, yeah, if you can start hammering on them too, that'd be great. Yeah. Because at some point we're going to see a tier 3 minion in a sack here. And I think we're getting time. Nemesis back to back, so... Oh! Yeah, one, two... So this one's gone. Uh, we're going to unleash three, four, twice. Five. And then the player with the lowest life, which is me, suffers three. Back to five. Okay. Okay. Uh, then this. Toxic Breath, 15. Whoa. What the heck? Gravehold suffers two damage. The player with the most expensive card in hand destroys that card. Okay, oh. so yeah. I got lots of these, so let's just keep silencing them, I guess. But he's going to go again, so someone's going to... Uh, so then at the end of this turn, this guy's going to lose two of these and do the whole... Any player puts a flawed sticker on one of their crystals. You got it? Yep, if you can do that one for me. Actually, here, do one in my discard pile. Yeah, yeah. Putting the sticker in the top left corner of all these cards, right? No. We'll do that after. Yeah, I'll all do right. that after. <laughs> uh, all right, so he discarded. He's good. Uh, next card. Does he not discard both tokens? He did. He had oh. three total. Oh, he had three total. 
Um, did you, that was, yep, 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 Nemesis again. All right, Grave Hold suffers two, down to 11. So pick, Player with the most expensive card in hand. Mine is a three. I have a three also. Okay, so I have a Geophage or. You have a Geophage or a Warping Haze. Or I have the um, Silencing a Minion. So what happens here to it? The player with the most expensive card in hand destroys that card. Um, I could just get rid of. I could, you haven't really used your Geophage. I haven't either. I could get rid of. I have of, two in my deck though, but I mean like. Do you want to get rid of a spell though? I know. Not I really. could get rid of this, but I mean it will be helpful. Yeah, so I will just do the geophage. Yeah, Done. Right. Done. Okay. All right. So that was that. Oh, power two. Excuse this me. This one just unleashes twice. The player with the most expensive prep spell destroys it. If that spell costs four or less, or no spell is destroyed, evolve. Okay. Blech. And there's no way to get rid of that. Good old tier three fun. Oh, okay, can we just survive? I don't think we yeah, can. Yeah, I know. I just if this is destroying expensive spells and making me destroy them out of hand before I even put them down, it's going to take a while to hammer through fifty-eight of this. Yeah. But if our healing plus like healing on grave hold plus our healing keeps us in it, and we do can clear through his deck, I don't know if that's a thing with this guy. It seems like almost every nemesis in this in this legacy thing you can't really get through the deck, but. I don't know, maybe the last one we could have. I think we could have when we flipped over and looked at them all. I think we could have. I think done we could have, yeah. Oh. Okay. Gravehold suffers two. Down to nine. I'll get rid of a geophage. Okay, done. Player with the most expensive card destroys that card. Yeah, because we only had threes. Okay, <sighs> uh, and then remove that. Draw another two or three cards. Okay, uh, unleash twice. The player with the most expensive card in hand discards two cards in hand. Then, for each card uh, in that player's hand that costs two or more, evolves. So I think if I did it, I have all zeros. Hold on. The player with the most expensive card in hand. So we I have a have... three. So do I. Oh, I we see. We already knew that from before. I see. Um, then, for each card left in the player's hand that are two or more, I have none. How many okay. would you have if you uh, did? Uh, none. Oh, but... but then that's a spell. I don't know. It's your choice. Well, do we want to silence that minion, or do we... Yes, we do. Okay, then you have to do so, it. So, okay, so... So, the player with the most expensive card in hand discards two... Oh, two cards in hand. So, I discard a Warping Haze and a Crystal. Yeah, I guess. Okay, then for each card in that player's hand that costs two or more, evolve. So, we have Nothing. none, so we don't have to evolve. Okay. Please don't be Nemesis. It's you. Uh, all right. So I'll do one damage. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, he's killing Gravehold slowly. But is he though? Like, if we keep, I don't think we'll silence him enough. No, I don't even so know. So I'll do go one, and then uh, I get to focus. Yeah, focus your breach, and then I gain an ether off that. This one for two. Two sparks, like woo. Hey, at least it's plus. I know, but that's the problem. These geophages, I needed them both in there to, to get rid of all this crap. I know. Uh, for two. Charge. Charge, yeah, it's so weak. I know. I'm sorry. I have like a bunch terrible. of junk in my deck. I shouldn't be buying anything. I'm trying to get it rid of it. I know. You again. Woo. Uh, so four to Here. this guy. Yep. Two. All right, two. you draw two cards. Yeah. I'll throw two breach collisions in here, even though one's about to get freaking destroyed. So annoying. Uh, actually, let's silence this yeah. guy. Or hold on, I can have five. Bending beam. So he's gone once. He's still got one in there, and I have. Yeah. It's hard oh, to okay. say. Okay, so silence. Because I have a silence in my yep. hand, but he'll likely go before me. Yeah, that's our luck. Uh, and for three. By the geophage again. Yeah, but it's by that point, it's like too late now. You think? I don't even know if it's going to be lined up with, with crystals. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just take a charge, try to line up. Um, I don't know how many of my cheaper spells, but yeah, we'll just try to line up my spell fury, I guess. Okay. Um. Oh! Oh, man. Ah. Shoot. So two of these are gone. Uh, what would it do? Sorry. Uh, flawed crystal thing. 
Here. I okay. Claw crystal. Okay. Go. I'll hold the spot in the deck. You didn't use that. Yeah, you didn't use that to buy a. Nope. This is in. Yeah, this is deep in my deck. That's fine. Yeah, it definitely wasn't in my last hand of cards I played. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot. And then you remove. Yeah. Okay. Yep, yep, yeah, yep. I'll put all the stickers on the corner after. Okay. Me. Uh, all right, I guess we're going to deal one damage. Okay. Let's heal Gravehold for one. Up to ten again. Can't silence him again. I kind of want to hold it. Because if he goes before me, then I can silence him after. Yeah, I'm going to hold it, I think. You don't think you're going to draw no more? I don't know. I feel like you have like three going in your deck. Yeah, I do. Did you destroy any? No. No, not yet. Yeah, so you... Okay, so you're right. You so that's on, one. Like, how many cards do you have in your deck? One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, I probably have because I think yeah. they were... Two were back to back. <laughs> yeah, but they couldn't... Maybe not. It's a risk. That's one. But whatever. It's not going to kill okay, us. Okay, so two, three, four, five, six, seven... Could do three charges to help save you, or it could do that. Oh yeah, true. But I think we need to get damage going, right? Too. I think so. I want to get your last. So actually, let's here. get this and one crit and one charge for seven. Okay. I think. Yeah, it looks good yeah. with your number three breach. Yeah, nemesis. So this one's gone. This goes unleashed twice. Player with the most expensive prep spell destroys it. Yep, I knew this was gonna happen. Uh, and that's good. Yeah, because it was cost four or more, so we don't have to evolve. Okay. And then we have to draw a card for him. Yeah. And then we have to do his little teeth thing. Oh, right power one. The player with the most cards in their discard pile places all the cards that cause zero ether in their discard pile on top of their deck in any order. Gravehold suffers one damage for each card placed this way. Wow. Whoa. Like half my deck is zero. Yeah, but if you can get you through your deck and like uh, not draw. And then like hold? Yeah, like we just hold. Shh. But. Well, I'm going next, so. Yeah, but still. Jesus. Okay, so then this thing. Oh, yeah, sorry. Crystal, well, already knew it was crystal fun. Oh, yeah. Um, I only have. Okay, it's you. I don't know. Jeez Louise. This is going to be rough because I'm not going to be able to buy spells at the beginning of the game. I know. Yeah, this is going to wreck us. Wow. Okay. All right, oh, then. Uh, this goes in my hand. And me. All right. So let's do that, and I will hit him for one. Let's do that. You may draw two cards. Okay. I will silence a minion. Yeah. And I'm not going to do anything with that. I think we need to do like that. This is getting a little intense. Can I just... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, but you know those later ones are all like, deal five to grave. I know. Hold. A player, the weakest player takes five damage. Do I have? Like no. crazy ones that just take you out. I know we don't lose if one of us dies, but like then Gravehold to take double, and yeah, it's like we can't afford that. I know. Nemesis. Nemesis. Silence gone. This thing fires off. Oh, we both have zero. Oh my god. Okay, so the player with the most cards in the discard pile puts that many. There are none. We will have no discard yeah. pile. Get out of here. Wow, wow that lucky. was like perfect timing on that. One thing worked out in our favor. Perfect timing, but let's see. This is going to be terrible. Oh my gosh. Uh, four shield. Oh, we've seen this guy coming at the end. Okay. Facet Ogre. Okay, Persistent Gravehold suffers damage equal to the number of shield tokens. Okay, so, so four that's him, fine. One health. If this minion has two or less shield tokens, evolve. So you need to, like, wipe off those shield tokens, like, fast, like. Okay. Okay. But we have these Pyro guys, which yeah, will I hopefully have work out. Yeah. Oh, my God. Gravehold suffers two. Uh, the player with the most expensive card in hand destroys that card. Uh, I have a five. I have a six. Sorry. Destroy a pyrogeist. That is... Man, this is rough. Oh, and then Gravehold's going to suffer four. Down to four. Oh, my God. Wow. And then evolve. Or... Or Gravehold suffer... would have to evolve. Yep. 
So when you evolve this card, read E28. Uh, suffocate story. The nameless has been sent minions on a mission to raise new gravehold. You had a difficult choice. Stop the minions and save new gravehold or prevent the nameless from recovering and gaining even more power. Banish suffocate. And okay. then E20, put E29 in the nemesis discard pile, which is sacrifice. Unleash four times or gravehold suffers four and any player suffers four. Oh, okay. So remember that's in the level three deck. Fun times. Okay. Well, <laughs> they've gone now twice. So we have four turns here. Oh, wow. So we should be good. And you are first. The tooth. But not as good as I would have been if some of that stuff didn't happen first. Use that. Use that on here. Because so six takes this guy yeah, out right away. Yeah. Done. Gravehold heals one. Five. Because I can do some other damage here with okay. the shields. They, oh, and you have a ping. That's good. Yeah. So ping deal shield. one. Yeah. I won't be able to do the extra off that, but that's fine. Well, you will get to go again before. Uh, geophage. Destroy a gem. So that's one. Three is four, five if I don't buy a spell. <laughs> Let's... Four, four if you do. Yeah. But I feel like I'm just going to line up. I'm just going to buy two more charges. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Me. Go in. Uh, so let's do this one first. So I'll deal one damage, then I'll deal two damage, yeah, and then I'll deal two damage. Okay. Uh, let's, in the meantime, let's put that there and that there. Let's, in the meantime, silence him because we don't sure. want that to go. Oh, oh, you're uh, actually you're gonna think, go yeah. before, yeah, yeah. or both gonna go before. So never mind. Yeah, yeah. Two, four, five. I'll buy another one of these. Yeah, spending Let's beam. get the party rolling now. Enemy. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'll use my spark to take him out. Boom. And then I'll do five damage. Maybe do it in the reverse order, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. Five damage to the boss, and then spark takes that guy out. Five damage. Boss down to 53. Woo! Okay. I will heal Gravehold for one. Yes, yeah, six. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And maybe okay. I'm still at five. Just oh yeah. Quiet. Oh yeah. But but no, if if I just die, that's fine. I no, keep no, playing. No no no. But I'd rather you have all the spells in your hand. So let's do three. Oh, yeah. yeah let's do three charges. Yeah. Just something to think about. Yeah. Because we haven't been using this that much to get charges like automatically. So. Yeah. So let's do like that, and then you will be next. Okay. Uh. One, two, three, so four. two three five. four five. Six, seven, eight. Eight to him, please. So down to 45. Okay. Let's throw that there. Get that last breach open. Oh, yeah, you're right. I know, I know. I know. Um, I, I, oh, I, yeah, you'll do it for me. We've just been doing it with my ability. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't been caring about I it. I know, because I didn't have the spells before. So for two, I'm just going to buy my final charge. How much would that let you do? Not enough. Not enough, so then... Yeah, I'll leave it. Maybe I can... Build it up. But can I, though? Like, I think what's coming... I don't have many four or less spells. That's the problem. And right now, there are a bunch of four or less. Although I could leave those, put a couple more down, and then saying. fire it yeah, off. Yeah, fire it off on your next turn. I'm just going to shuffle this while you decide. The problem is... We have this under control now, but this is going to be the problem. It's just going to force us to do damage to them that we can't heal in time. I wish I wish I could heal Gravehold with my... If I fire this off, it just gets me three extra damage. Best case gets me, like, one more extra, but then I'm holding back and leaving these here. But if I fire them all now, I have nothing to fire. If the Something Nemesis goes first, up. I have nothing to hit him. Yeah, it's totally up to you. I mean, it's like that fine balance, right, of... Yeah, I'll hold, I'll hold. But then again, the nemesis could have something. Discard the most expensive prep spell and like, you know, all this crap. Yeah. It's a risk. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what I drew into. Okay, okay. No, that's kind of good. That's not bad. Yeah, I can turn You need two. to go first. We want you to go first. Yes! Yes, all right, cool. So I'm not going to fire these off. I will put a spark there, a spark there. Uh, 
you can draw two cards. Yes. There's no minion silence or anything. So I have five ether. Uh, let me just do this ability. So I'll spend all my charges. Uh, so this fires off for two, three, four, five. So okay, five so to down him. To 40. Uh, two. This does three total because of bonus. Okay. Three. And then four more. Four more? Yes, please. One, two, and four. one more. One more. And then this one's going to focus your last breach open. And I get an ether to go up to... Six? Six total. And we're at 32. I feel like, and, oh, okay, that's good. I feel like that's good. And you gave me... Yep. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Thirty-two. Let's two again. Nothing to fire That's though. That's okay. <laughs> one. Uh, yeah, one damage to him. I'll play the geophage, destroy a crystal. So this is four total. Um, I feel like I don't want anything in my deck really. <laughs> Just charge it. Yeah, it's a couple charges. Try to do that again. Yeah, maybe. Hope we can get enough. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Me. Okay. So we're going to put a bending beam in number three. Let's do this correctly. Let's put that there, doing one damage. Down to 30. Let's put that there. Let's let you draw two cards. This is two, four. I will do two charges, which I will fire off right now to let you heal three. Oh, nice. Done. Uh, and then let's do like that. Me again. Oh, double nemesis going in the end of the deck. Oh, that means he's going to go like early too, and then. So then do I leave this? No. Hold on. If we him. fire this, deal two damage if you have. Two or more prep spells does one so additional. So this will do three. So 27. Uh, but I want to do... It doesn't No, you matter. do want to fire that one yeah, first. Yeah, I need 100%. to fire that first. Okay, then I no, will do matter. this one for five. Okay, down to 22. Then I will do this one, and I will do two... Five. More, five. Right? So down to 17. Okay. Let's put another bending beam. Let's put a spark. Let's do... I think we're... <sighs> Do I do the charges now just in case? I don't know. It's tough to say. We don't know all these tier three stuff. So I have five. Do could I just take... bending beam again. Yeah, let's take a bending beam. You could geophage yeah. and get more crystals out of your deck. I, I don't know. Yeah, let's geophage because I, I did lose it. So maybe it'll cycle a little bit out. Let's keep the crystal with it. But that was five and you only spent three. So you still could do oh, a charge. Oh, I could do a charge, yeah. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. I think they are done after double nemesis. Oh man, you think? Okay. Okay, no, this is okay. So this is a power spend, two. Spend, spend eight. eight. And then if it goes off and unleashes, if there are two nemesis turn order cards in the turn order discard pile, any player suffers four damage, otherwise evolved. So yes, okay. the charges on your ability are important, but okay. we are pretty beefed so up in health. That's that, turn one. Turn two. Nemesis, so one off this, draw a card. Okay, unleash. unleash. So he's going to do that. Gravehold suffers three damage. Down Ooh. to three. The player with the most cards in hand with cost two or more degrades all of those cards. I have one. I have two. So you. Okay, so they're just gone out of the game. Degrade, so you get to, oh, and they're the lowest, so you can't even get new ones, yep. right? Okay. Yeah, just two warping hazes gone. Okay, and there's only two cards left in that deck. Yeah, but. I know. All but one has to say is, oh, then this now. I, this. Oh, yeah, yeah. So these are gone. What does it do? Uh, flawed sticker thing. I have, I can do one. Or... Sure, I vote you. <laughs> okay. Can you shuffle that while I do that? Sure. Uh, whoops. And I do have the heal one to grave hold in my hand. Yeah, but is that quick enough? I don't Could know. Could be double nemesis right here. This is the problem. Could be a minion and a power. That's true. That's true. Based on the shuffle. I don't know how many of his cards we've seen though. If all his are gone, then maybe it's not so focused on Gravehold, but one, two. Yeah, we've seen all of his tier three, I think, if there was only three. So this it's just some basics. Me. Not dead yet. Not yet. 
Oh, come on. Come on. We are so close. We like, I so win. badly want to win this one. Because if, if, if we go before him, I think we have 17. Yeah, but I hate here. the way it comes down to that. Literally stupid. Because your shuffle sucks, then you lose. Oh, oh that does suck. Uh, all right. So this fires off unleash two once. Okay. And then if there are two nemesis, there's, there's not. not. So Any nothing happens. Otherwise, oh. evolve. Oh, evolve. Oh. E24. Okay. Well, usually they're not that bad right now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like in our next e game. E24. Gathering storm story. The skies darken uh, as the circle closes. And the minions of the nameless have completed their ritual. They channel immense power enough to decimate a mage. Yet their goal is something far more sinister. Banish gathering storm. And then place E25 in the discard or in the discard pile, which is uh, thunderous temp tempest. Sorry, spend nine power to unleash. If there are two nemesis turn cards in the turn, just pile, any player suffers eight damage. So Otherwise, any player suffers five. That'll kill you. That just kills us. Unless we're full, because at yeah, that's level just, three, or we, we might... have nine money late game to get rid of that. Oh my that's god, that's insane. That's insane. Okay, so that was just that. So, so now, now we, we have draw. to draw this. I don't even want to look at it. Okay, okay. so it's a minion. Okay. It's a maddening specter immediately. If this is chapter four or higher, we evolve it. Oh, Serenity so now. So we get two shields and seven health ready. Got it. Uh, and it's E14. Oh my god. Maddening specter story. The specter has learned from watching your battles, adapting its body and skills in ways to better deflect your attacks, turning it into an even greater threat. Banish Maddening Spectre. Place card E15 into play with the same number of life and shield tokens that it had before transforming. Do not resolve its persistent effect. So it's Maddling. Maddening. Eidolon. Eidolon. Persistent. Unleash twice. Okay. So we have at least better odds that we're going to go next. One of us. You ready? <laughs> if it's two Nemesis cards, like. I know. Done playing Aeon's End. Done. It is. This is, man, I swear. Okay. Four in a row. Four okay. in a row. That's, That's like okay. a worse Unleashing thing. Unleashing is not that bad. Ah. So unleash twice. Okay. No damage to Gravehold. This just cannot be Gravehold suffers three damage or we're dead. Unleash three times. Gravehold suffers two damage. Okay. Okay. I think we might have this. And then any player unleash destroys three, three cards in hand. Okay. Gravehold suffers two. So it goes down to one. Hold on. So this, okay. We're drawing this now. Yes, we were doing it. We're still on the same turn. So you just got three on there. Did we miss doing this or something? No, no? that okay. was that. Now oh, we're yes. That's okay. Okay. Yeah. So. Unleash three. Gravehold suffers two. Yeah. Down to one. And any player discards, discards three cards. In destroys. Well, destroys. Destroys. But we need to do that whole. That whole what? Uh, we're going to have to do this, right? So, oh, we can take damage though. I can take damage. If we can't put the flawed stickers. That's all that's going to happen, right? So did I just destroy it? What, what are we destroying? I don't know. Well, any three cards. The flawed but... stickers is fine. It'll even get flawed stickers in the, di in oh, okay. the dead pile. So it doesn't okay. matter. Okay, that's fine the then. destroyed pile. Okay. So any player just starts three cards in hand. Destroys. Destroys. I can't have that one. So I have three sparks and two crystals. Are you okay to do it? This is what I have. Sure. I could destroy okay. those so two. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Okay, done. Uh, then this guy's then thing. Then that's this. Okay. So we're going to do it once. So take one of mine. Okay. And then take another one of mine, I guess. And then another one. We need to do it three times. I have one in my hand I could do. Okay, sure. Okay, so one. And you even got us at the end there. Tons of degrading or whatever it's called. Not degrading, um... What is this called? Fracturing. Fracturing crystals. Okay, those are Man. from there. If we just could have beat them a little quicker. Those are from the discard. Now we're getting punished. Oh, There's destroyed pile? Destroyed yep. pile. But that's okay. I think we won, so. Oh, okay. There's a whole bunch of chat there that I didn't get to read yet. Uh, no, it'll be bad for the next game. I'm sure it will be. Uh, you guys have more than 17 damage total, right? I hope so. I have seven. Do you have 10? <laughs> Why? Because then that's it. We won if that's the case. Oh, I see. Because uh, Nemesis is already gone. Also in your well, hand. Well, no. We don't need to just kill this guy and we win? Uh, 
Yeah. Well, I mean, this is better too. One, two, three. So set, I don't know. Okay. That, well, let's just see what happens here. So that's everything. Because once we clear this, we win. Or if we defeat that, we win. But we're like, already what's... saying good game, so I think so. I think we got it. Yeah. You're next. I think you go for this. Uh, oh, I see what you're saying. So do I? Ha do we have seventeen? Well, balls? I have seven, five, six, seven. Uh, uh, so I have uh, five, six, plus another six, twelve. Yeah, we have it. Oh. Okay, so just okay. go here. Because I have seven, you have more than ten. Even though him unleashing twice? He won't go because it's only Oh, he's us. not going? Yeah, oh, it's only Oh, okay. Us. Yes, yes. The back-to-back -back stupid annoying thing. All right. So yeah. you had 12, Bang. you said? Uh, yes. Six plus six. No. no. Eleven. 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 Okay. Five and six. And Gravehold even heals one. Ha-ha! <laughs> so we're going to six. And then I'll plop okay. two sparks there. Okay. And draw. I don't even want to. <laughs> you might have to go again. Losing my mind yeah, here. Yeah, it's you the again. Tooth. All right. Uh, four more damage. All right, two away. Are you going to let me do the killing blow? That's so sweet. I have no choice. <laughs> you can even draw two cards. Go yeah, ahead. I don't have any cards. Two cards. Oh, oh, and oh. Two. I'll ping one. Oh, <laughs> I can kill him with my spark. <laughs> yep. Ping one. Oh, this feels so good. Uh, throw that there. I get three, four, four. Uh, no, I'll get three. I'll silence a minion. Yay! <laughs> so for three, I'll buy a warping haze. And boom. Draw. Dun, dun, dun. Well, it's you, right? We know. Yeah, it's me. So I will kill him with my spark. Yeah, yes. big boy goes down to a spark after he fractured our entire, entire mass of crystals. <laughs> Whoa! Woo. That was exciting. That I was on was the edge of my seat for so long for that. If he didn't oh draw, God. like, back-to-back -back like that, and we got to kill him before, like, let's say he was the last card in here, like, we yeah, wouldn't, we wouldn't have, have fractured those last three I crystals. I know, that's so frustrating, just based on, like, the draw. It's so annoying. You should kill ah. the minion, too, LOL. Oh. Great job. <laughs> Clearing the queue? No. No. George A doesn't watch this game. We don't have to clear the queue. We're good. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh... So, let's read the finale stuff. Oh, let's get yeah. to it. Uh, Fight Haze Fiend, read the front card of... L36 after your first game versus Haze Fiend. L36 front, here you go. Chapter 5 conclusion. You won your first game versus Haze Fiend. Read the back of this card. If you lost, do not replay this game. Instead, read the front of L37. So we're reading the back. As you strike your final blow against Haze Fiend, a painful scream reverberates through the air in a flash. The haze is gone and torches flicker back to life, lighting the camp. There is no sign of the fog nor the shadow you saw moving within, only the fallen remain. Despite the horror, the survivors begin to move bodies and seek out missing loved ones. As you survey the wreckage and, and help coordinate efforts, you feel a renewed sense of purpose. This time you were barely able to stop Haze Fiend before it devoured the whole camp. The nameless must be destroyed at all costs. Read the back of L37. Uh, the fog stifles your vision and clogs your lungs, making it hard to breathe. You see the shadowy figure flashing through the gloom, flickering like torchlight. Suddenly it towers above you as tendrils of smoke wrap around your neck. You close your eyes and await the inevitable, but it does not come. As the creature's grip sub, uh, subsides, you open them to see Zaxo standing behind the figure. The last thing you remember is Zaxos finishing off the haze fiend. You fade in and out of consciousness, unsure where you are or how long it has been like this. Eventually, you wake to a familiar argument in a familiar place. I beg you, Brahma, Zaxos pleads, as the mages begin closing the breach. Channeling a nameless breach is forbidden. We will not repeat your mistakes, she, she chides. We need this power when Malastorm returns, Zaxos argues. Ever practical, Malastar continues your instruction while they argue. Open Insight 11. And apply rulebook sticker to the rulebook. Choose an additional ability sticker and place it on your playmat where it says unlocks at the end of chapter 5. Yeah. This additional effect will resolve every time you use your ability. Ooh. Yes. Insight 11. I like it. Nope, next one. Insight 11. I be can't believe Gravehold survived that last Nemesis turn with one. You guys got super lucky. Yeah. Oh, buddy, we've you know been doing that thing all game. But if I didn't have... Yeah, she didn't have that oh, ability. Where is it? Right here, yeah. Like, my on that one where I took it last round the f when Gravehold gains one life. 
well, the fact that I got this early and was like, wow, I got the seven already. I was like, man, Gravehold's going to be nice and healed up this whole game. But then the whole thing, how it destroys these <laughs> and makes me take crappier spells, like blew yeah. my mind. And then it started hammering Gravehold super hard. Yeah. So like the only way I think to get around that was to take, I just had to take more spells early instead of economy and just try cheap spells. But then, then when it did the degrading, it would have been destroying all those cheap spells and I wouldn't have got replacements. Right, so, I so don't know. you just lose them. All right, here's the fun again, deciding what to take. All right, additional ability. So uh, this is an and. Yeah, so and you do it's And this is when you both. pop your charges off, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, reveal the top three cards in the Nemesis deck. Put them back in any order. Okay. okay. And this one is end. Reveal the turn order deck and return the revealed cards in any order. Oh, you can do the whole deck. Okay. Uh, and any player returns a spell in their discard pile to their hand. That seems very juicy, but yeah. And any ally gains two charges. And if you have four or less life, gain two life. And Gravehold gains two life. And deal three damage to a minion. And focus any player's breach twice. I would We're like the definitely gravehold. not going the focus. I'll take the gravehold. Cause... Gravehold gains two life. So yeah, when because you I pop us... my charges a lot. Yeah, I like that one actually. Yeah, I'll just take that. I think that's the best yeah, for me. I'm not going to stop you. And as we just saw, it came down to well, one. that's this minion though, right? Yeah, but those still... were his specific minions that were hammering gravehold. Um. But gravehold takes damage in every like that was a basic. Card I know of, there are know? basic ones to do it. I understand. Yeah. yeah. What are you thinking for you, though? I don't That's care about tough. messing with the deck. No. I like that any player returns a spell in their discard pile to their hand. Or any ally gains two charges. Or if I have four less life. See, I, can't, I don't like this gaining, like, like, will that happen where I actually have four less life when I do Spell Fury? Or then I'm, like, holding off on doing it until that's the situation? I want something that fires off for sure every time. Deal three damage extra to a minion. What are you guys saying? Uh, mine chop. Uh, you thought you hated this game during the playthrough. Just wait, you'll turn civilization. You never thought you could feel. <laughs> oh man, oh, what's the ready now? Oh my god. Oh, uh, let's see here. <laughs> I know it's gonna get harder. I understand yeah, that. And then we just made our deck harder by not being able to buy spells and stuff right off the bat. <sighs> oh my god. Deal three damage to a minion is kind of cool. Uh, Ryan says, any ally gains two charges is going to help me to gain, to heal Gravehold. Yeah, that's true. You that's only true. pop yours off one, maybe two. I almost got it twice in that one. Yeah. But it only, it's only if I get these going and we don't have that other one that gains charges straight up. Oh, so. which we might get new cards true. to change things up. So do you have to choose this right now? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Um... I like to return a spell to their hand. Can I tell you what I would pick for as you, if I was you? Yeah. The deal three damage to a minion. Yeah, it's neat to do it at that point. Because you're already doing spells enough. But, I mean, you could but pop it off I, when there's no minions. Usually I pop that off to hit the boss a bunch. Yeah. And, like, dealing three to a minion, maybe there isn't a minion there. But it yeah. is huge. I just like the return a spell to hand. Yeah, that's also because helpful. Because I'll fire then... them all off. I'll do them all, and then after that, I can pick the best one right back to hand and, and put, put it, it right yeah, back. Yeah, you're right. That's good. Or you could have like a big seven coster sitting there, spell in your thing that you just fire off, and or just bought, and I could say put it to your hand, and then you get to actually play it super fast. Yeah. And to me, that speeds up the. I think that's our weakest thing is we take too long to beat this guy, like or any of these guys. We're just so slow at dealing out damage, mm -hmm. and it takes forever. Like we we play that, and I know we, there was a comment left about. The fine point in Aeon's end to decide when to switch from dealing with minions to focusing on the boss is one of the, like the arts in the game, like the fine little skill that's hard to master. But I feel like getting a spell back, no matter who it's targeted on, just it's always going to be good to do that. Yeah, because... But the health is cool too. If I have four or less, we're in dire straits. I have a way of getting charges and then getting two life, but... But I think we don't usually... We try not to let you get that far down. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do the spell. Yeah, I think that's I good. Think, I think the spell could turn into an extra, like, four, five, six extra damage off that effect versus just three to a minion that's very focused. Yeah. I want general. I want works in every situation. 
And this will always work for you because if you're popping your crystals yeah, off, exactly. you're throwing yeah, spells in exactly. your discard pile. Yeah, exactly. The minion you want, it's situational, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, because there may not be a minion or there's not one that three does anything really too for us. Yeah. Or the one minion, could, I mean, it could just get rid of a shield or something, but. Yeah, these sticker sizes are like all over the place. Like I know, I don't understand. <laughs> Do they have like one factory doing one set of stickers and another <laughs> factory doing another? Then have them ship to the same factory to package them? Like, <laughs> wow. All right, we can print your game. We can guarantee the stickers are all the proper size. Or for $3 less, we just put in whatever stickers you we have sitting around. We <laughs> just print over. them and, and you just take them. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. We can save money, you say. All right. Uh, rule book sticker D. Do you have the rule book? Nope. It's under those, under one of those, I think, as you. Oh, there it is. So rule book sticker D is going to be 20 pulse tokens. So it's up in the front where the items are, I think. Yep, right here. Pulse tokens used with certain player cards. Each player may not have more than five pulse tokens at a time. Any pulse tokens gained beyond five are lost. Pulse tokens are carried over from turn to turn. When the game ends, players discard all of their pulse tokens. Wonder what pulse tokens do. Uh, I wonder if they'll have us opening a box in a second or not. <laughs> Either way, that's there. Okay, that's gone. All right. Uh, read the front of L38 if you can. Mm -hmm. All right. Your instruction is interrupted by an explosion of electricity, which knocks everyone down. Before Brahma can punish Zaxos for his audacity, he is gone. That burst of energy changed you. Instinctively, you understand how to convert your raw pulse energy into magical power. Open box D. It is pulse tokens. We'll keep this box. Well, that's kind of cool. So we'll pop those out. Okay. Uh, and then it says, read the rest of the stop five deck. Oh, those uh, are... These are your supply upgrades. Same thing. Banish all nemesis cards la labeled Haze Fiend at the bottom. And read the back of this card when you're ready to start chapter six so you can put that on the top yep just make so let's do so our usual discussion we can talk about our cards here oh <laughs> so we got a gem this is conductive grit gain two ether gain one pulse token or you may lose one pulse token if you do gain three ether but we don't know what the pulse tokens do so why would we read it again one more time maybe it did it only told us that we can gain them Use uh, with certain player cards. Each, each player may not have more than five pulse tokens at any time. Any pulse tokens gained beyond five are lost. Pulse tokens are carried over from turn to turn. When the game ends, players discard all their pulse tokens. But we didn't get like little instructions on what the pulse tokens do. Well, it just works with these cards. So, okay. Oh, I guess. So can... here's the thing. Okay. So it's like a, a build-up effect, right? So you could gain two and gain a pulse token. So you build them up. Then later, you can lose one and make you get three instead. So it's like this mini game of managing. Yeah, I thought they did something else yeah. as well. And that be, might be uh, why we wanted Volcanic Relay. Any player gains three pulse tokens. The player may lose one pulse token. If they do, destroy a card in hand. Okay, okay. Okay. I see. So that's for four. Another relic here. Internal Mirror. Any ally gains a charge. Any player gains two pulse tokens. You may lose two pulse tokens. If you do... Cast any player's prep spell. That's prep spell deals one additional damage. Mm. Four, breach communion. While prepped, once per turn, during your main phase, you may gain one pulse token. Cast, deal two damage. You may lose two pulse tokens. If you do, deal three additional damage. Mm. How is pulse tokens like any better than what we already have? I know, and... It seems, this seems very stupid. <laughs> like I see the whole mini game is kind of fun you build them up and then later you spend them to make cards better but how I don't I don't know because I feel like that game like yes it was to the wire but I feel like the mechanics that we had going on here yeah I don't want worked. any of these cards I really don't want any of these cards yeah I think it's like a big waste of time yeah and then I have a feeling the next minion 
gets rid of pulse tokens. Like, like literally <laughs> yeah. you're building them up. You're like, yeah, I'll get one. And I'll later I'll throw it away to gain three ether. And oh, I lost it. Yeah, pulse tokens do different things based on what cards you play. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't see how they're great. Like I spend three, I gain two ether and gain a pulse token. I guess then the very next turn you can lose one to make this give you three ether. Instead of two. So I, I see the ability there, but like I'm what? Replacing my silence a minion? Yeah. After we just saw a bunch of minions get leveled up? F no. Yeah, the pulse tokens, this is this is poor design in my opinion. This is this is weak sauce. Well it's not poor design. Maybe that'll fit for some people's it, play style yeah, or the way it, they want to play. It's a fun mini game, but like for efficiency's sake, like this just seems like a big gamble. Like it, it's I don't want to gamble. Yeah, and part of me knows uh part of me knows that the next mission is gonna be harder because we just made our deck harder. Like I don't think throwing any of these fun le so, let's see if we can get so some pulse like, tokens. Like I just compare these, right? And it's like, okay, four, I'm spending four instead of three this new one i gain three pulse tokens that player may lose one if i do i destroy a card in hand it's any card which is kind of cool so it could be a spark, spark but this one i just get rid of a gem and it's three and, it, and i get an ether back on the turn i play it so it's like i i don't think this is better than that but if they're doing similar things right yeah like i understand this one's more flexible and they don't want to make it like, it is more powerful to destroy any card. And yes, getting pulse tokens work with these other cards. So if you had other cards, but... But then this one, for example, I'm spending five on this. And I'm getting a charge? Like, we had another an card that... gains a charge, not even you. Yeah, an ally gains a one charge. Only one charge. And then any player gets pulse tokens. And then you can lose two. So at least you get them off this card and you can lose them right away. If you do, you cast any player's prep spell. Which you we know that's powerful from playing Aeon's End regular. Yeah. Where you can... Like, oh my god, we just need, like, two more to kill this guy and we won't have to deal with it. You fire yours off. Boom, it kills it right before we draw two Nemesis cards back to back. That's, like, super good, but super situational. And, yeah. like, for five, I'm buying this and I'm replacing what? I'm replacing this one that draws nope. an ally, draws two cards? No, I'm That's not. super powerful for one more ether. And we don't have to replace two, right? No, you may. Okay, and then this one, the last Breach one. This one seemed kind of interesting. But again, if you don't take two of these together that are giving you pulse tokens, like this one kind of works on its own because you can gain one and right away throw it away. This one, yes, you can gain one and throw it away or gain, yeah, gain, gain two, two throw two away. I don't know. I don't see. <sighs> While prepped, once per turn during your main phase, you may gain a pulse token. So that means you didn't cast this and you held it or yeah. uh, you prepped it in your turn, I guess. Yeah, and then you, and gain, you gain one. So then the next turn. Then when you cast it, Best case, I'm casting it for three out of my fourth breach. I can lose two tokens, but I've, I've only gained one. Right, so you have less. So unless I have again. another card that's gaining more. So these work, like, you have to get these in a pair. This one has to be got with another one. Yeah. Otherwise, this is super delayed five damage. Yeah, no. Um, super delayed. Like, that's... Ugh. They don't excite me like the last piles did at all. But uh, maybe I could be convinced. You will. They can be very good. When we played, we had someone go super heavy on pulse tokens, and he was able to do a lot. I can see that. I can see how they work together, and I can see you doing some crazy stuff with them. How many people were in your party? Did you only have two, or did you have four, and one of them kind of... Yeah. Because the way we're working, I'd have to take the pulse tokens. Let's see. Like, maybe I'm not seeing something. Like, I could easily talk to replacing Warp and Haze with this Breach com Communion. Mm, but, so Munchup says, what if minions say get rid of a pulse token or lose two life or Gravehold loses life? Mm, like you said, something is, is that gonna, a thing? It's gonna be a thing. You said that already. Uh Ryan played with three. Okay. Okay, so you could have one person that's Bernardo, you played with two, played with two, and you said you didn't like them, but did you take them and you didn't like, See, like them? like, I kind of want to ask for spoilers, and, like, is this a thing that's going to tank us in the next Nemesis if we don't have pulse tokens? Yeah, but then even so, what one am I putting in there to get some pulse tokens I don't even want? Like, if I took Breach Communion, those pulse tokens, I'm going to use them to make this do extra damage. And if I'm throwing them away and I took this one, that sucks because this only deals two damage. I would have rather had this one that most likely does three. Yeah. Munchup says, if you don't have them, it might play against you. Uh, we played two players. Other player used it a lot. Wealthy Joe said. Okay. So we kind of have to so take. So I feel like. 
You gotta take a couple. So you gotta, in. Well, that we gotta sucks. take one. Just take this one. Sucks. Just take um this one. We and but what am I replacing here? Destroying a card or no, I guess this just, one, right? Geophage is gone, no. there, right? Uh, yeah, that's yeah, what would have yeah. to go. So dumb. I don't want to do that. But we could do this one. We could do a little no, more. No, because I like that. That's okay, helpful no. when we both have one. But but, devil's advocate. What if instead of drawing two extra cards, so you have seven okay cards in hand? We are more destroying cards in hand. Oh, but that destroys out of hand. Well, so does that really. Oh, okay. Uh, you have to take two of them. Oh, you so do. lesser of two evils. Then Ryan, check the rules, and you do have to take two. Damn. Uh, <laughs> Bernardo says, don't worry. Uh, Buell, Just have fun. Ignore them, and we did very well. Okay. <laughs> um, Buell doesn't have the game, but from the way Hold things on. have been going, they add something. Hold on. I just want to read yep. to make sure. Yeah. But just, yeah. I think we do have to take two, but mm. I don't know, I don't though. I want to. <laughs> just uh, have fun. We ignored them and we did well. <laughs> uh, I don't know where that... Didn't it say on that card you read before the stop, like, uh, these are your supply cards? One? Yeah. Maybe it was the one we put back in there. Uh, reveal, okay. Reveal Page the rest 11. of, yeah. Page 11. Use your supply upgrades. Upgrade the supply cards using these deck according to page yep. 11's on the rule Players board. must add two of these, those cards to their supply, but they must also banish two cards from the supply. Players will also banish the cards that they did not choose to add. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's the first time we, like, not wanted to do it. I know. <laughs> yeah, Faulty Jill says, LOL. Now I can see how my wife and I were stressing at this point of the game by looking <laughs> at you guys, LOL. Because you look the same. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is annoying. Oh, I it's don't like, want... it's now like after in your reward phase, the game is, is bending us over and, and, and messing with us. And we won that one. We should have a choice if we want to take these. But the problem is that it will affect the next game. So you need to have them. So they're kind of like forcing them into the game. Okay. So I then we take that. Yeah, volcanic relay. And I think we just switch one of these for one of the, one of the okay. spells we have. I don't want this at all. This is dumb. Yeah. This one's okay, but I'd rather have mm. silence a minion. Okay, we'll get rid of warping haze. We'll throw in breach communion, and yeah. we'll get rid of geophage. You sure? Yeah. We could go heavy in the destruction and make our decks really thin. So when you do only draw five cards, you're getting like all your beastly cards. No, you want to keep this one going? Mm -hmm. I like that one. Me too. Uh... Love the mirror. Oh, this one? Really? Yeah, it's... But he's playing with more people. I do maybe. like the yeah. casting a spell out of other people's things, doing one extra damage. It yeah, but is I don't cool. really have spells, so I'm going to have to get that. Yeah. To give you a charge. No, we'll no go with the Volcanic mm -hmm. Relay. Get rid of Geophage. And you can destroy any card in hand. So you can't get rid of Sparks. Yeah. To help see your money more. And then, like, and eventually you can get, rid of, get rid of <laughs> Get rid of this card. <laughs> no, you want to use that to its effect for sure. Yeah. But it does give you three Pulse Token straight up. And you only have to lose one to do its ability. So you keep Spares. And those Spares will help Breach Communion fire off without having to sit it within your prep spell for too long. You can actually do it. So that's my theory there. But yeah. again, after we lose the next one, we can choose to switch in one of these if we yeah, realize like we pulse token, the pulse token thing we chose, the, the synergy is not working out for us. Or we remove those and put our other cards back in that we liked. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. If the next minion really needs it, then it's know. like we may need more pulse tokens and we may have to grab one of those. Uh, so do we want to talk about this guy? Yeah, so uh, for Matouj, who's probably watching us later, How's it going? <laughs> uh, Haze Fiend, 75 health. That was crazy high. The minions he threw out at us were nuts. The yeah. focus on Gravehold, I felt, was crazy. Silencing even wasn't enough with this guy. No. And I feel like the difference was if I did a little damage earlier, it would have been nice. There's no way again. This is similar to the last one with the minion token or the ne nemesis tokens. You can't do anything to stop them. Yeah, you can't get rid of the Unleashed On almost tokens. every power card that came out from him, there was no way to stop it. Right. And then it made it, like, Unleash or he did bad things to us. So it was like... So it, it was like a speed I thing. felt very helpless against this guy. I felt very yeah. helpless. Yeah, for the middle, I thought we were going to lose. Yeah, I felt like there was not much... Like, we were. We had heal going off on ourselves. We had heal going off on Gravehold. 
And still, this guy still got Gravehold down to basically one health. But we were both very high. Like, I was full health. Yeah, see, he was very focused on Gravehold, and that caught me off guard, which is why I got excited when I had this early. But then he does the whole thing of destroying stuff in hand, so it's like, yeah, it's, it's tough. Like, But then I would say replaying him would be easier, which maybe is why they don't let you play him twice. I think because so. Because you would know. Okay. Well, no. If you played him again... His uh, firing off his sticker thing. Remember, if he can't find one to sticker and they've already been stickered, you do two damage to yourself. So just imagine every time that fired off, how many stickers did you pull out there? Uh, uh, almost 10, all of them. 10. Yeah. So imagine being dealt 20 health loss to our players. Yeah. You can't heal fast enough to cover 20 health loss. Right. Well, it would like, have been slower over the course of the whole game. Still. But still, yeah. Plus the regular damage. That's why you don't play him again, because if he's doing it, you would have to completely ignore his text, too. And, yeah, like, then you're so just then playing a minion of 75, and you're just smacking him around. Yeah, that's so true. So that's why they, they couldn't figure out a way to play this guy again without making it crazy. Yeah. Um, it was fun, even though maybe it didn't look like it was yeah, fun. Yeah, I'm stressed. Because I was head stressful. Pounding. Like, that was, that was crazy. And I think because we knew it was only one and done, it was a little more stressful, because it's the added stress of, like, I don't want to lose. Yep. I started getting frustrated myself on this guy for picking when I picked this one first instead of six, but then I'm kind of glad I did because it got me to grab six when it got um, depreciated or whatever. Degraded. Degraded. <laughs> when it got degraded, I got to pick the six one. So yeah. if I was grabbed the six first and wasted an ether, I would have been stuck with a bending beam. Which is still good. It, I know, but it's like we needed this one for the shield token. So it's like... It yeah. just it just messed with your strategy like way too much. I felt very helpless. Like, I felt like um, you know when like uh, someone's holding you and just like smacking you in the face with your own hands. That's what I felt this was doing. Like I felt very helpless in this one. <laughs> oh, that's the best. And he, he, even even the choices I made that like I felt were mistakes. Like it didn't matter in the end because he was just destroying the cards out of hand or degrading them or. I think that's what felt so frustrating. You get this card, you think, okay, I'm going to do this. And then they say, okay, get rid of the top. And every and time like, I put a sticker on a card, I'm like just thinking how I'm going to be swearing Hayes Fiend's name <laughs> in our next nemesis and the one after that. When I'm like, oh, I would be able to buy that spell that we need, but I can't because of this. Like, while you're talking, let me just see how many you have and how many I have. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so this guy was rough, but yeah. I know there's worse coming. I know, like, I, there's two more of these envelopes we haven't opened yet, so... I'm sure it doesn't get any more fun. <laughs> it's or not more fun anymore. Did it challenging? Any yeah. Like it definitely doesn't feel like a game. Most campaign games we play, I feel like, or most role playing ish kind of games where we're like leveling up characters. Most of the time, you feel like you start out weak. You're not really doing anything. You're getting beaten. You're close to losing, or you're losing in general. Mm -hmm. But eventually. You get better armor, you get better items, you upgrade cards in your deck, whatever it is, whatever game, name the game, doesn't matter. You always get better. And then eventually you are punching the boss, like you're just laughing at the end when you're like finally overcoming the odds and then like feeling like, yes, I leveled up the right stats, I got the right items, I, I suffered early and then became a super monster character in the end and just overcame evil. But in this, I feel like, yeah, cool, we get to like, Tiny tweaks, like tiny tweaks. Okay, we're getting a little better. Tiny little ability. Yeah, one extra health or one card that's a little more efficient. And then the next nemesis just comes out and he's like twice as bad. You you leveled up 10%. The nemesis leveled up 70%. And then you have to try to fight him in that situation. So I feel like every time it's like pounding us. But I know some people will comment and say we're not playing efficiently. I know that. I know we're not doing all the little tricks from holding this and leaving that in the breach and... And being super efficient to try to get things going and one person playing the support, which you've been doing. Yep. But I don't know if we're doing it the best to our ability. But I feel like the game is designed to keep you, like, you're not supposed to win easily. But that's, I think, what people say all the time. Yeah, is yeah. That even it's... in regular Aeon's End, you finish yeah. and Gravehold has one life, one mage is dead, and the other one's at, like, two health. And... But it's a regular thing that it comes down to the order yeah. of the cards yeah. in the end True. of, like, if I went first, I would, we would have won. Mm, yeah. And that's happened multiple times yeah, so in it, our it games. does, yeah, yeah. Um, from the story what's your opinion the story seems neat yeah, it's, cute. it's cool i don't know how it meshes so much with the actual scenarios like it's cool the way they work the minion in the nemesis into it i like that's kind of neat 
and we're just like students what i feel like we're just watching a play happen in front of us we're not so involved in it it feels like there's a little disconnect there but it is super cool and it's flowing along and it's neat i like that we were playing this game not too far apart like we're playing every few days so the story's still stuck with me gloomhaven we'd play it through like three or four of them in a weekend and the story seemed kind of cool you're following along and then we put the game away and couldn't get everyone together to play for like a month and then you come back and you're like I don't know what's going on. I don't remember where we were. I don't remember what quest connects to what quest. But at least in this, I feel like the story is going along, right? It's kind of cool. Uh, but I do like it. I do like it. It's pretty good for just being thrown on a bunch of cards in a deck. Like, yeah. I, I think they're doing pretty good for that. Not being like a giant quest book with it. It's 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 good. Mm -hmm. uh, Mutton Shop says, but you guys knew it was one and done. So you were more cautious and made the best play you could. Which I thought made it more fun. It was truly a good playthrough. That's Thank awesome. you, Mun Chop. I appreciate it. I feel like it, we did our best. Yeah. The fact I'm super tense and my head is pounding, <laughs> I, and like I, I felt like the te like the tension of this this game. I get my money's worth for sure. Like that was definitely great. Like yeah. and the fact we won, it feels so much better. Like it hasn't yeah. even hit me yet that we won. And as as Graveholds was going down, it kind of sat around nine, ten, eight those numbers for a while. But then once yeah. it went down. It's like, uh oh, I think we're in oh, trouble now. I'm and then that last card, where if it had flipped and it was <laughs> one more damage on that card, we would have been dead. But I would have lost my mind if it was like, and yeah, exactly it, four to grave hold. Yeah. Well, whatever. we had three, and then it said deal two. Oh yeah, if it, and said it was three like on anything it. Yeah, else, yeah. we would have been dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Oh man. <laughs> but yeah, I would have lost it if that happened. If we lost this literally on that little flip like that, I've been like, wow, we healed Gravehold so much. I felt yeah, like more than we ever do, and it's like still wasn't enough. Yeah. But then again, that, that just shows that we didn't damage those guys or silence them enough. That's what that comes down to. But even silencing can't stop it when we kept seeing the Nemesis card go back, back to, back. to back and then shuffle and then back to back. Yeah, like that if it goes back to back so many times, silencing is like not really doing much for you. Yeah, but crazy. It's very frustrating. Because, like, you wasted that ether that turn. Instead of getting a spell, which could have got rid of the guy faster, we chose to silence him, but it wasn't enough to stop him from doing enough, like, the damage or unleashing or whatever, or evolving. It's just frustrating. It's like, crap, in that case, we shouldn't have silenced him, but who knows. But maybe those silences kept us in the game and were the reason we won. <laughs> I love it when Gravehold game won life at the end. That felt so good. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, Yes! <laughs> yes it's not dead Woo. <laughs> it's even at two uh, but anyways funny. that's it for the playthrough of chapter wow. five what a chapter that was a good wow. one for sure wow crazy. but yes oh. thank you to our patreon backers you guys are all awesome thanks everyone who supports the channel thanks everyone who donated to our fundraisers special shout out to ryan in the chat for being awesome and supporting the channel a ton you're amazing uh and yeah, we'll be in touch um but yeah, this is crazy. I can't wait. The sad news, sad news. I'm very sorry to announce this. It's already scheduled, but the next stream is going to be next Tuesday. So one week from tonight, we can't play this weekend. We have friends coming over, but that's not going to stop us from streaming. So because they're coming and this game doesn't have jump in and jump out mechanics, boo, indie boards and cards, boo. <laughs> Any legacy game without jump in and jump out mechanics, boo. But that's okay, because I like playing with you. I like playing with you also, yeah. and I like experience the story, but... It stops us from streaming because we have friends that want to come over and play all day with us, which is great. They want to play on stream. So this Friday night, we'll be playing four-player Dark Souls, pending any weather or traffic issues or anything. Mm -hmm. uh, four-player Dark Souls. We're going to try uh, the Gaping Demon Mega Boss. We'll do house rules to get us to the level four encounter. We'll pick all our armor and all that stuff and weapons, and we'll take on a Mega Boss in four-player. Isn't that Microsoft Day? Yes, yeah, it, it is. is. So I will be all afternoon running around the house after noon Pacific time when the, the updates go out. Or I will go on all the Windows 10 computers, especially the streaming one, and schedule it to not even download updates until like after 2 a.m. or something crazy. <laughs> or you can postpone updates in one of the updates from last year. Uh, you're able to postpone them for a certain amount of days too. So I might do that. But I, I still don't want it to happen during stream. So no. I got to make sure it happens in the middle of the night. I don't think that's what was doing it today. But, you know, you never know. Could have been anything updating on any computer in the house too. Bernard does not show what Microsoft Day is. Uh, it's called... Uh, in the patching security IT patching world that I used to be in as my career was recently in IT security. Uh, they call it Black Tuesday or Patch Tuesday, uh, <laughs> where Microsoft every second Tuesday of the month, Microsoft reveal uh, releases the patches to the world for Windows. It's called Patch Tuesday. Charles knows, uh, but I've heard it called some other worse things that I, I won't repeat or I can't remember even some of them. But 
Yeah, Patch Tuesday. Oh, it's basically know. when you're sitting at work in your office and everything starts patching that week and you're everyone's freaking out because software stops working and Windows stops like crashes on people's computers and some of it doesn't boot up. Yeah, that was that was my life. Um Oh, oh, Bernardo works, works at Microsoft. Microsoft. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I used to work for a Microsoft partner, Bernardo, uh, recently, uh, up until late last year. Um, so, yeah, I know about... This is what I manage. I manage patching and stuff using SCCM. That was my job. Um, so, yeah, you know. But he knows Patch Tuesday then. So I won't talk any bad about it then. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, but anyways, yeah, so... We just got to make sure the patches don't come down on any computers in the house while we're trying to stream. I don't think that was it, though. I think, no, I think I it might have been so. ISP-related. but uh, Or call and pay your bill and tell them to hold off on your streaming. No, call your pal Bill. <laughs> oh, call my pal Bill. Yeah. Oh, well, now I'm going to call Bernardo, actually. <laughs> hey, Bernardo, can you just delay patch Tuesday till later in the night? And SCCM is a beast, yes. But I mastered that beast five <laughs> years. I worked with that software, and that was my job at different companies is running SCCM and uh you know dismantling it putting it together taking multiple brands of companies together and running them out of one and yeah it was crazy stuff you never talked about that on here before ever have you yeah like i've mentioned that done? i was in it oh, okay but i I've been, i was in it for a couple decades so like i did so many different things i started a web development and software engineering and gone into system administration help desk stuff at some points like all over IT, man. IT security, cloud engineering I was doing at the end uh, when I got out of IT. I may have to go back to IT at some point. If you want to stop me from doing that, Patreon. Patreon, Patreon, Patreon. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> keep me doing this full time. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah. So, yeah. So Tuesday will be our stream, same time. Yeah, Tuesday will be the stream for this game, Aeon's End. You can go set the reminder already. It's on the channel. Just go to youtube.com forward slash Rob's Gaming Table. You'll see all the live streams. Set the reminders for the ones you want to see. Saturday, we're going to be doing uh, all day Too Many Bones campaign for Undertow. Three Tyrants, assuming yep. we make it that far. Uh, we're going to play three player. Uh, were you like the IT guy on Saturday Night Live? I don't know that sketch. I'm not sure. Oh, we'll have what, to go check that yeah, out. No, I'm not sure which, which sketch is my job. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I do want to Google it now. Uh, I love Saturday Night Live. Um, the other thing we're doing is on this Thursday, uh, thanks to our Patreon backers for do uh, voting, uh, we are doing Clank. We're going to play the original mm -hmm. Clank, Mel and I, Thursday night, two-player. So two-player, Clank, Thursday night, Friday night is Dark Souls, four-player, all day Saturday is three-player, too many bones, long-ass stream doing the campaign. And Sunday is most pre likely pre-recording, we're filming, most likely Sword and Sorcery, uh, continuing on with that playthrough series. Uh, so yes, that's why we can't do Aeon's End. We have other stuff we got to get done. But uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, we'll see. I doubt we'll do it, but most likely Tuesday. That's yeah. What if we do a Sunday? Yeah, but no, I don't know. I don't think we'll have time. Yeah, but I, I would love we'll to. Either. I don't want to rush it either. So, and we might be tired from playing. Yeah. All day Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, and a Spirit Island live stream. I think Thursday afternoon. I'm playing solo Spirit Island, trying the other spirit from the Branch and Claw. So that's this week's schedule. Lots of fun stuff. Yeah, lots of fun stuff. So thanks a lot for everyone watching, and we'll see you guys next playthrough. We're sorry about the technical difficulties, but everyone, have a good evening, have a good night, have a good morning, whenever you're watching this. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.